Woman go. Me go eat the mango. Eat the woman go. Now tell me not about no seed. Me go eat okay, the mango. Okay, fine. Yeah. Gosh. Yeah, you brought me a mango. Well, Cassidy said I brought him yeah. a woman go. A woman go. Yes. Yeah. So I brought both of you a woman go. My one in the fridge. Yes, it was cooling. Cassidy, Cassidy won't pick up the tree. It was cooling. They were cooling. Yeah. It's nice when it's cool. When it's cool. Just imagine having that. Um. Just imagine having a, a young lady like her, you a in a in a air condition room. In yes. a air condition room. And so you peel right? off the skin, Cassidy. Ooh. And you just bite into that juicy I'm just saying, succulent I, 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 mango. Woman yeah, go. Just you just enough. Taste imagine that having sweetness. you in an AC room, right? And the juice and the, the, running down your cheek. You know oh what we're peeling off. God. We're not peeling off no skin. The skin we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, prestige face come alive in the studio I'm right now, I tell you. you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, listen to all Oh I, I, my goodness. All those people out there really look a smutty mind. We're talking yeah. about a fruit, you hear? We're talking about a fruit. Okay. And this fruit is <laughs> a mango. And it's a St. Julian mango, right? Yeah, it is St. Julian. Yeah, yeah. St. Julian. Yeah. Yeah. And I, and I think and I think it's a she. It's uh, it's a she? I think St. Julian? Yeah. I think it's a she. Yeah. So, so, it's, so, too, so, it's too sweet and delicate and soft so, to not be a she. A, a mango like um, East Indian mango. Is that a she? Is that him? Is that he too? <laughs> and I love that one, you see? That one that's <laughs> firm and nice, it's man. Yes, man. I love it's that one, the bad, 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 bad. It's firm. It's firm and nice, man. Wow. Juicy. Wow. But this one is softer. Yeah. The flesh is so much yeah. softer. So I want to associate her with a female. Yeah. Right, gentlemen? Peeps, you see we are classifying mangoes, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put them like that. Let me hear what Wilton yeah. is there saying. No. Yeah. Wilton. Cass- Wilton says, Cassidy and lovely Cleo. Hello, sweetie. Mm. Big up and blessed up at um, always. Love and respect to Star's family, mm. including listeners every time. Yeah. Thank you so much, Wilton Newman in Calgary. Yeah. Yeah, big up yourself, Wilton. Cassidy, turn on my mic for me now. And I'm like, Wilton, you hear me. Turn on my <laughs> mic for me, Cassidy. <laughs> cool it yeah. down. Cool yeah. it down. Yeah. Don't give him a heart attack. I won't. I won't, right? I mm. won't. Yeah. Lisa. Hey, Lisa. Good to have you on board, pretty girl. Good night to you too, Mama Sita. I missed you last week, can I tell you? Mm. I don't think she texted us last week. No. So, good to have you, Lisa. All right. And all our other friends are rolling in, rolling in. I love it, love it, love it, love it. And remember, those who are not able to watch the show tonight you gotta go for whatever reason we understand but guess what youtube is where you can check out the post show so let's just give them those um well connections for the social media peeps and how dare me leave them out tonight all our facebook friends who are locked in right now to the live feed you kudos to you and big up yourself all right so on youtube it's styles fm radio all the shows are posted afterwards on YouTube for your repeat or listening pleasure if you missed the show. All right. On Instagram, you can follow us at Styles FM. On Twitter, it's Styles FM 961. And for Facebook Live feed tonight, Styles FM 96.1. So 96.1 on the fan page for the Facebook peeps, Twitter, Styles at Styles FM 961. And of course, you can follow us on Instagram at Styles FM. All right. Mm-hmm. So um, tonight we have a fantabulous and interesting fox pop for all our listeners, and I want you to pull up the stops and call up Grandma or call up Mama our auntie, our uncle, or anyone you know who would have a story to tell, let them call us in, right? Call it in. Call us on the local line. If it's overseas, let them call on the foreign line. And feel free to share your stories and um, with us tonight because this Vox Pop, can I tell you, hmm. Prestige, yeah. it was provoked somewhat by 
persons I overheard, we, well, we were all having a conversation in a vehicle some time ago, traveling, while I was traveling. And it was just very, very interesting. So when you hear the Vox Pop peeps, you're going to know, say, boy, I don't know nothing so normal. Something goes so. Oh, you're going to say, yeah, man, I know what I'm talking about. All right, it's now 9.30. The time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. And Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. After the break, we come back with a whole lot more. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 8 893-2266 Extra, extra, read all about it. It's Fan Fusion tickets. Yes, pre-sold Fan Fusion tickets are now available at Styles of M Studio, 4 Barmuck Avenue, Port Antonio, YK's Pharmacy West Street, Touch Pharmacy West Street, La Best Sports Bar, Port Antonio. All Styles of M DJs have tickets as well. Morant Bay, Texaco. Also Universal Electrical and Plumbing Supplies. Wharf Road, Morant Bay, St. Thomas. For more information, call 518-2399. More ticket outlets coming soon. This is Jatty, the Reggae Ambassador. Join me this and every Saturday from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. Right here in Styles FM 961, 965, 967 for the Tony Lauren Show in style on style. We're gonna eat you off that G spot at 3 o'clock. We've got the collector's edition with Twin Spin. Inside Music Base with Teddy Ledley. Nuff, nuff niceness right here in Styles FM. This and every Saturday from 1 p.m. until 5 p.m. You got it? Do you have or are you seeking a place to rent? Seeking employment or have a job vacancy? Are you selling a car or having a garage sale? Then come see us. Let Styles do the advertising for you and you'll be on your way in no time. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Advertising Style. Advertise with Styles. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Yep, welcome back to you, Lady Cleo, and of course, DJ Prestige filling in for Daddy Roo tonight. I forgot, and I am glad I remembered, shout outs to Maureen Fuller in New Jersey. Yeah, we made contact sometime last week, and she listens in pretty much every single week. So shout outs to you, Maureen, over there in New Jersey. You and the crew, pick up yourself right about now. My avid listener as well, Celia Roper, who always makes it her point of duty to tune into Styles FM on a Friday night, and she's locked in, and in her vehicle is Styles rolling all the time. Big ups to you, Seal. Celia, I call her ropes at work. Big up yourself. All right, Mr. Williams is also there listening. Folly Road, Port Antonio, big ups to you, sir. Keep it locked to stars and keep that smile going right about now, right? Nova in Illinois, good night to you too, Nova. Um, locked in and she's working, but she's listening in as well. Good to know. Big up my friend Kenton up there at Willie Building, Port Antonio. Yes, Mr. Photographer, big up yourself every time you and the family. Yeah, real, real good up, good up friend to have and to know, yeah? Because every time, um, vivacious, crazy, Kenton, all right? Yeah, so, what's going on with you? What's happening with you? Like, like what? What's happening in your life? What new? Fix your microphone. You're coming here every week looking sharper and sharper. What's happening with you? What's happening in your life? 
Something is going on. No, you know me, I spend some money for myself. Oh, yes, sir. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> Cause my earth, my, my earth strong, they right around the corner. You found November. a rich girl yet? November, my earth strong, they right around the corner. Oh, yes, I, I forgot that we are November people. Oh, yeah. no one so, will miss so can, well. I kind of like it. Just go and take care of myself. I'm yes, which is. Yes, I'm not. You have answered my question. Time. Did you find the rich girl as yet? N- not as yet. Not as yet. No. Okay. You know, anytime you, you know, have, anytime, nice. anytime you know of any, right? Uh huh. Then you can introduce me, <laughs> right? <laughs> and then you know, so you said too. I've, which is yeah. right. I mean, I will look out for myself alone. You get me, I say? Because as long as you look out for me, I look out for you too. Look out for me. Okay, oh, yes, sir. about that. Okay, sir. That sound good? Yeah, man. Real talk. Yeah. Let's find a rich girl. All right, sir. Right? All right. But I want Locally to Locally or internationally? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay. As long as you have money, money, money. So rich girls out there, yeah. you need a sweet, charming, ooh, music kind of guy. You can use the word dapper too. Okay? Da- oh, yeah, dapper. Time. He's dapper really fine, can I tell you? Yeah. <laughs> And you need a man yeah. like a real, real yeah. caring, loving, romantic, yeah. you know, man who will cook for you and eat mm. with you and for you. Eat food. Yeah. Of course, our else. Yeah. Yes, yeah, man. Be more specific. Eat food, eat yes, meat, yes, everything yes. you got to eat. Food, yes. Cook food, cook food. This is the place to cook stop food, right food, here, DJ food, Presti. Cook food. Look <laughs> at this face lighting up again, girls. Yeah. Oh my god. You goodness. have to be more specific, man. You can't say eat food and cook. You know the way the word When now. you are in yeah. Daddy Rude's yeah. chair, yeah. you have to take yeah. whatever trouble yeah. I give. Yeah. But you have Daddy Rude is no. familiar with this kind of trouble. Because you have to be more specific. Because you have to be more specific. You have to be more specific. You have to be more specific. I can't pick on Rude. He's not here. I can't pick on Rude. Please stop saying cook food and stop licking your tongue. Cook food. Stop licking your lips like that. I did juice me that drink of my hell ago. I'm missing the mango in front of me. Why you don't move this mango from me for me? I bet I didn't lick so. <laughs> I would Ladies, take a bite yet. <laughs> my co host is licking his lips when I say eat the food. Oh my goodness <laughs> gracious. Uh, you bring, uh. food, you bring food nice food. I can't give it to right in the man, which is a mango. Tell you, boy. Marvin says, yeah. Yes, look, Lord. Prestige eat, will look. eat Lady Cleo. Yeah. Lady Cleo's. What is he saying there? Look at the outfit. Marvin Goodman. Marvin. Marvin Goodman. Yeah. Marvin not church by himself. Marvin Good. Oh. What I'm saying, Lady Cleo. Yes. Wow. Wow. The people them on the social media network right now on Facebook. Uh-huh. I look on you and see outfit we have on. Oh, do you like? But, Simple proper? Simple proper. So good. Uh, oh, we can't say that word again. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. So many times we can't even say that word, and sometimes we <laughs> can't say it. Cause you know what I mean. It, yeah. it tongue twists up. Yeah. You know, sometimes you well, know. Well, I thank you, it. sir. Yeah, you're looking so nice. Yeah, thank you. You know, the coordination. You know. Mm-hmm. You know the match. My shades of gray and white. Yeah, and white. Yes. You get me? Shades I know you're just yourself tonight. Is it just... <laughs> <We don't want laughs> that sounds like prestige. Oh, that sounds so. Let's see what tonight. Marvin is up there saying yeah. before we go to the box <laughs> pop. Um, <laughs> Cassidy. Marvin saying a whole lot of stuff right now. Marvin. Prestige will eat. Lady Cleo. A week. Cleo, you know him over. You know him over what already. Yeah. <laughs> him love Nam. Yeah. Yes, him love to eat. A foodie. Yeah, 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 yeah. You see how Marvin put him things? Yes. Prestige will eat. Lady Cleo. And if the people then listen and hear that, you get me I say, right? <laughs> they will, they will look at it on a different level. <laughs> He's laughing his face off for one. Yeah, He's yeah, a yeah. week. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> let's see where this texting in. Pick up to our easy. Facebook peeps right now. Easy. And of course, mm. um, we see Lisa, Lisa's riding. Or Lisa going. <laughs> Lisa normally runs away. Tonight she's riding away saying that tonight's program is too grown up for her. So she's out like on her bicycle full speed in the opposite direction. <laughs> All right, Lisa, good to have you locked in, pretty girl. Oh, let's see who else is there before we go into our Fox Pop. All right, pretty much we have called acknowledged all our other friends already all right keep your messages rolling in remember when we go to the vox pop feel free to call in dan dan how are you dgs um real talk husband mm-hmm. and my friend me <laughs> shout outs to lolly of course she's shouting out to us right here at stars as well big ups to you lolly up there in whitehall st thomas mm-hmm and of course, Den Den from St. Thomas rolling in as well, locked in. Pick up yourself, Den Den. 
And who else do we have on the text line? All right, pretty much. We have those peeps. All right, thanks, guys, for locking in. And our Facebook connection, we will hook them up in a few moments as well. All right, so we're going to go into our Vox Pop tonight, guys. And may I beg you know, feel free to call in and to share. All righty? I think Lisa might be running a little bit faster when she, hear the Vox, when she hears the Vox Pop, but I hope she still can stay. All right? So, the Vox Pop, sir? All righty. So tonight, Prestige must have some grandma story to share on this one. Here goes, guys. Truth or fable? Fact or fiction? Do you believe that the dead can communicate with the living through things such as dreams and visions? Yeah? Do you think it's a means of communication when they communicate? When you people say, boy, I dream my auntie, I'm a dream my grandmother, and them tell me certain things or them give me numbers or whatever. Do you believe that is actually true? Or is it just people's imagination? Right? Part two says, would one need to inform do you think one would need to inform or communicate their intentions to the spirit before erecting for example a tombstone and i've heard the story where people say boy if you ever feel say you can't just go at the cemetery are your relatives or your bury and I'll just put up tombstone just so think again so I would want to know, we want to know tonight if it is that you believe that some form of communication must take place between you and the quote-unquote spirit before you go ahead and do any form of work at the graveside after they've been buried and you want to go and clean up and you want to go and erect tombstone and all these things and so on. Do you think you have to communicate in some way, form to them before? And if you don't, what do you think will possibly happen? Do you know of any stories where things have happened because persons did not go and tell them or ask permission to erect anything over them? All right? And part three says, have you or anyone you know ever experienced the wrath or anger of any spirit? Anybody you know ever do anything that would provoke, that they think provoke the spirit? And the spirit get mad and cross and angry and miserable. And things happened as a result of that provocation. Do you know of any such experience? Please feel free to share what happened in the instances tonight. It's a real talk. And this is where we discuss everything real and nothing ideal. If it's real to you, of course, it's going to be real. It might not be real to you, but it could very well be real to somebody else. All right? So, Prestige, mm -hmm. let's look at part one of this one. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Do you really believe, sir, people have to communicate with the dead? They can communicate with the dead through visions and dreams. And people who say them see spirit and so on. Do you think it's their imagination? Or yes, they can really see spirit for true and they can really communicate with them for true. Well, you have people who are gifted. Mm. Mm. You have people who are gifted. And yeah. them, them family members dream them. Mm. And my dream several times. Who your dream? And what you dream? I dream my grandmother. Uh -huh. Yeah. You dream her or she dream you? Well, I me go dream. Me, <laughs> me got my bed go lie down and sleep. So, so you I dream. must me dream okay. uh -huh. for another day. You get me I say? Mm -hmm. You know? And she tell me some things. Say some things to me. Playing just in front of me. I talk Are you to serious? Me. Playing in front of me. And I'm a grandmother alone. I dream. I dream of my bridge when you're a skanker. Eh. And the people that we are listening now, them good to know who name Skanka for you come from Port Antonio. Hold on there. Go back to grandma. Yeah. So I dream grandma. Uh -huh. I rem remember she passed away last year. You know? Right. Yeah. You know, see, and she tell me some things. And the things that she tell me are not joke. I see her something for true. Before she passed away or after? After she passed away are and you I serious? dreamt her. Oh yes. my God. You know, and she, she talked to me. Face to face, me and her attack, and she had tell me so I can feel life. Me put me under for feel life. Oh my goodness! Yeah. 
Are you sure you don't dream? Eh? You sure you didn't you sleep a dream? Me I sleep. I me a dream. Oh. Yeah. How did the dream appear? Did it appear real? Yeah. But me never afraid. Because I know that my grandmother, because normally in your dream, sometimes in your dream, and in your dream, certain things, you wake up out of your sleep. Mm-hmm. Because you don't want to reach to that level yeah. in your dream. So, so I, you I hear people dream. say sometimes the dream is dream happen for yeah. you to wake up. Yeah. <clears throat> the dream happen for you to, to wake, up. wake up. Yeah, yeah wake you up. A lot of times I dream, and dream happen for me, and I have to just wake up. Because I dream a whole lot of things more time, and I walk one cliff. Maybe you, eat cliff. maybe you go to bed too late, you eat before you go to bed too late. I am late, man. <laughs> More time, you know? I mean that. But some of the time, I come in, I'm going to eat anything. Yes. I'm, and I'm there home watching TV and I fall asleep. And most of the time, when I'm tired, I'm going to go to my bed. I'm going to lie down and sleep. Most of the time. If I got to bed early, I'm not, not, not dreaming. Too. You did watch the show before you got to bed? No, I'm going to watch movie like that on TV. Oh. And just news. Just news. Yeah, me as a news person or a sports person. So, so right? is is there any one thing that grandma dreamed <coughs> dreamed yeah. you that you can share? Yeah. We would we love can to hear. Share yes, yeah. we'd love to hear one of the dreams that your grandma gave you. Yeah, or you had with grandma. Mm-hmm. 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 Come never really get no dream when nobody tell me nothing like that, really. My dream is not walk straight as them say. Yeah. <laughs> All right. My grandma dream me and tell me. You know, maybe I go talk, you see, but I don't want nobody to rush me and I like say, well, I'm rich or I have money or anything like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I don't want nobody to talk. This is still a real talk, real talk. Real talk. My grandmother gave me a dream one night. Right? And she said to me, say, down at the house, right? Mm-hmm. In our room, when we go in our room. Mm-hmm. And if I pull out the bottom drawer, I go say something in there. And I feel hand it to my auntie. Mm-hmm. Serious thing. I feel hand it to my auntie. So I said to her, I said, which one of them? Which one of them? She said, no worry. I said, just hand it to my auntie. Because oh. I two auntie me um, oh. in the United States, in mm. um, England. I said, I feel hand it to my auntie. So I said, Grand, oh, you mean I feel hand it to my auntie? And she said, yeah, just hand it to your auntie. Right? Because she didn't know what to talking. You know, see, and <laughs> so like me your say, me say, true. yeah, I'm serious. I, 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 I straight dream me, I tell you, no, no joke. Mm-hmm. And I said to her, I said, so does give me an ugly and liquid. She said, I can't feel her if I can't ugly. Oh, wow. She said, I can't feel her. Wow. And I go down there as well, and I go down there, and I open the jar. The jar where she tell me for open, not no in the jar where she tell me for open, where she tell me for open. Mm-hmm. I in the dresser jar. Oh. In the dresser jar. Mm-hmm. And I in the jar over there where she tell me for open, where she have like her panties them and her rest of stuff them in there and another jar there and mm-hmm. the next jar over with the, the dresser jar mm-hmm. me open and 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 and, and then take it out mm-hmm. carry it home i put it on can me live i put it on my grandma live a snow mm-hmm. i'm put it down i'm call my auntie them and me tell my auntie them you get me i say come mm-hmm. tell him something to get the dream you know i'm mm-hmm. tell them you get me i say i'm when them come down as they come down just give it to them Wow. Yeah. Wow. I mean, I I've never had one of those. Yeah. Me dream already. Number. Me get dream number. The one that me want. Yes. Me get number. You win. Fit 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 cash part. You win. Yeah. But when and I tell dream them once, somebody tell can't dream me. Let me tell you why the wickedest thing. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a real talk. Mhm. Me dream one night. I remember a dream. I go downtown the day and I remember the dream. 25 was the number. 25. Mm-hmm. And I go downtown and I go at the cash pad place underneath Roof Club. Mm-hmm. One cash pad place the other night. So. Mm-hmm. Where, where, where then Chinese people, they must be Ch- uh, you know where then Chinese people, then they know. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Underneath there. And I go in there and I buy the 25 for yes, $500. What? Same time my cousin I drive I come up when he skip. He might drive on Suzuki, one of the Suzuki pickup like. Mm-hmm. And he stop and walk out in stop. And I say what? He said, I go up and he might go cook. 
Mm-hmm. So we are going to stop and buy some fish. Right. Out of Chile Lane, cross from Chile Lane, so we're going to buy fish. Right, look fish. So it's no problem. I <coughs> say, well, I'm going to leave my vehicle on here, so I And we just go up. Go buy, you know, go cook and so. And lady clear. <laughs> I tell you the truth. Yes, I'm going to reach up at the place and I buy the fish. Yes. <coughs> and we buy the fish. One young man come across to the young lady, and the young man did it. And the man, you know, attack and attack. And I said, Boy, look how we could have catch a 25 year man. Oh my. You know, see, and the people, them, and, and, and the people, them in that place, and just did it, and just roll up the thing. One lady come in there and I buy cash pot to net back and $10, $10, $10. And he was buy about $600, $10, $10, $10. <laughs> you know, see, that made time run up on me. And I said, What? Oh my. I said, Big man, how you say? I want to play, 25 play? Oh my he said, goodness. Yeah. I could have searched from now till next year, I can't find a ticket there. What are you doing with it? I, I don't could know have where the ticket is. I beat you right now. I said, we searched in the vehicle, we drive, go back down. I could oh have searched from now. And then $500 would have been I can't a nice find a ticket. change. Could have searched from now. I can't so find a ticket. Your ticket. I don't know where the ticket go. The ticket can't walk. The, I don't know. I put, put the ticket in my pocket and my pocket, the pocket, I have one car key pants like this one, uh-huh. but the pocket is shallow. Oh, pocket, the, the, the ticket ride out, so man. So I don't know. Yeah, but where ride out go? Oh, my God. A grown man are in the we're, van. We're looking at the vehicle. All over, we, we drive, we'll go back down. We'll come to the vehicle and go I buy fish. I don't know. We don't know. We are look all about. Jeez, we can't find uh, the ticket. I know we don't find the ticket. I don't know. We can't clear it. How much money is the good change, man? Calculate out, um, out um, figure money. 2,600 times five. Same thing? Mm. This is one double figure money. Yeah, 2,600 times time. Oh, you feel make that happen? You know? And, and who did you dream of on the one day? Eh? Who gave you that dream? Skanka, my virgin. Oh. Yeah? Skanka, my virgin. He dreamed it twice. And he gave me one. That's why I always buy them number yes, more time, 11. Oh. I am not a gambler, peeps. I'm not a gambler. When I get a little dream, me will dream me. And he always, he always tell me, say, no, say nothing to nobody. So I just go buy. <laughs> I can't talk until uh, nobody. When I get 11 the time, yes. and he tell me, say, no, say nothing to nobody, I'm going to tell my virgin I can. And then what? All right. The oh, no all I thought. We have a caller on the 954. Good night, listener. Welcome to Real Talk. Why, prestige, I feel the pain. Mm. <laughs> I feel in pain more, can I tell you? Good night, Dan Dan. Welcome. Um, hey, it's the, it's, the, it's the numbers game. I don't really give you numbers, you know. Mm. You don't? No, but uh-huh. but one time it's about fifteen years ago, me there, me man to go beer mm. and I meet this new girl. So anyway, I sleep the night and and the dream in that some more big house. Yeah, me don't know one one of my big house, thirty two or thirty four, mm. one of them number. Uh-huh. So my, so anyway, my tell my tell my tell my girlfriend friend the dream and she said, Lord God. How big goes? Bye. What are the numbers? No, 32? I don't know either. I'm not sure. What are the numbers then? Eh. But when she said, Lord God, I said, I want to. She, <laughs> it's, it's like she said, winnings now. So, so me go put um, about 5,000 pounds to go win. All right? Uh-huh. It, don't, it don't come in. It don't come in. So I said, how can I try this? And then, then someone told me, I said, oh, it's two draw them off for the day. Yes. I think I think no they have like five like five dollars for the day. Dear about her, so Yeah, but so the so 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 the, so, so my bite again at the evening. Same five thousand. And of course it win. Yeah. And of course <laughs> and of course it win. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Did you say five thousand? Yes, yes. This is a, this a, this a, this a football 15 years ago. Uh-huh. Mm. How much did it win? <clears throat> what for money? Half a female, okay. half a girl. How much money, man? Mm. Half a female, half a girl. Deliverance, Jesus. Because, because when, me, when me go to collect, I say, I'm going to come back later. Because I didn't have enough money. Oh, my goodness. Mm. You're... Did you give her some? Huh? Did you give her some of the money? Um, yeah, I must have. I must have. I must have. You must have, don't though. She, don't you better have. Don't she, uh, then another time, uh, it happened again, you know. What? Uh, an, an, <laughs> yeah, man, an, another time, another dream. It happened again. She tell me, she tell me whatever number. I'm a player. Hello? Dan, Dan. Dan, Dan, you're here? 
not sure what happened there. We've lost Dan Dan, <coughs> but I trust he'll call back. Mm. You, All realize, right. you realize Dan Dan, all the Dan Dan conversation, I don't care what we are talking about, it has to involve woman. <laughs> but he's a <laughs> gross Dan man. Dan, eh? We, we all know that. He's a girls' man. <laughs> Slicker. Suave. Suave. Sophisticated. Look here what we are talking about. If we're talking about church, right? Is that that, that conversation girl? have to involve like a church girl. A girl. <laughs> <laughs> Why I tell you about you? All the phone lines are open. It's um, yeah, 876-453-1444, yeah. local mm. line, yeah. and 954-338-7973 mm. if you're calling from overseas. So, so you believe, you believe, share. you believe, you know, you know, you know, you know you, these dreams and know, stuff like that. You know, yes, hmm? yes, and to an ex- to an extent, a large mm. extent, yes. Yeah. I've never gotten the one on one like that mm. which you had with you've had with your grandma. Me get plain dream, plain dream. Where people just come in front of me, mm-hmm. right? When me dream, I me I say, what you want with me? Because yeah. me, I don't know, friend. What you want with me? Wow. I've had dreams, but Dream. my mommy well, always said dreams don't walk straight. Yeah. I'm afraid of them. I wake the, up. Of the person? I wake up. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. I get a dream. And my, listen, one of my son, mm-hmm. Dimitri, right? In Florida, right? Miami, right? Yeah. When, I was, when I was living in Miami. And he was um, about five at the time, right? I made in the kitchen, I cook. Mm-hmm. And him come and he said, Daddy, look one, look for a little girl eh, I climb a tree. Oh my God. At the backyard. I said, which little girl? He said, yes, Daddy, it's a little girl climbing the tree. Oh my goodness. I said, you see little girl? He said, yes, Daddy, it's a little girl climbing the tree. And she called me with her hand. She called me. I said, relax yourself then. You ain't got a pint. Just relax yourself. And then come here. Boom. I can't see no girl out there, no mm-hmm. little girl, you know, but him see, when mm-hmm. see. Mm-hmm. see. Yeah. You can't tell him to not, when see. No, he see, he's exactly. not telling a lie. Mm-hmm. So, me there in the house, and days after, and days after, and him said to me, Run, come on, come on, now then. When I now then, I watch TV, and he run, come on, and said, Daddy, 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 the little girl that I told you about the other day, she's in the room. Oh, shucks. Oh, boy. Yeah. Daddy, she's gone. in the room. She want to play with gone. me. She's in the room. <laughs> Yeah, and another joke when I talk. Oh my god. He says in a room I want to play with him. Maybe she should live at the house. So the day and mother come home, come home and tell him mother and you know me tell her. She ain't afraid. Know, no, 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 no. Oh. Tell mother and the mother, you know, and next and you know, talk to him and mm-hmm. she pray in the house and she do, you know, pray and one day we are leave out of the house. Right? And I don't remember where we were going and and he might come out and when he might come out and as he reached the doorway he said daddy did see the girl at the doorway oh my the goodness. girl is at the doorway right there the next little girl again at the doorway right there she's at the doorway was he afraid he not afraid oh he might tell me say see the little girl at the doorway the little girl at the doorway mm-hmm. so me i say ah what happened to this little girl here okay and what the problem with this little girl here you know mm-hmm. so I say, oh, there's a good girl here. So the mother get past and some people come over into the house and pray and do them things and you know. Mm-hmm. And then they go away there. And from that me and you him say nothing again about this little girl. girl. Yeah. Oh wow. And when him grew up uh-huh. and he get bigger and little way there, like say my fourteen, mm-hmm. fifteen, he tell me. She and came remi- back? No, you remind oh, me. You remind reminded me of the incident the girl. Oh. and all them things there. Eh? And then they could wear there. So, so do, you, do you think he, he can still see spirits? Me no know. But <laughs> me no know. But when they smile like that, you know, yeah. they're more, you know. Tend to. Yeah. Wow. When they smile like that. Very interesting. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's 10 o'clock, peeps, and we're going to go to our break. The time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services and Real Talk is sponsored by Native audio stage and lighting more of the spirit world when we come back 
Architects, draftsmen and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266. Good day, driver. You notice that you're parking in a no parking zone. You know so you can get a ticket for this, sir. Really, officer? But just want to pick up some hardware supplies, you know. Do me a beg you. Give me a blind, no? So if you need hardware supplies, why you don't go to Ramtula Supercenter and hardware? Ramtula Supercenter and Hardware, 34 Folly Road, Port Antonio, Portland. We stock a wide range of products at the best prices in town. At Ramtula's Hardware, experience the three C's, comfort, competitive prices, and convenience. Ramtula Supercenter and Hardware opens 8 a.m. to midnight, seven days per week. Call 715-5132. Email ramtulasupercenter at gmail.com. Remember, we have the best prices in town. town. Extra, extra, read all about it. It's Fan Fusion tickets. Yes, pre sold Fan Fusion tickets are now available at Styles of M Studio, 4 Barmuck Avenue, Port Antonio, White Case Pharmacy, West Street, Touch Pharmacy, West Street, La Best Sports Bar, Port Antonio. All Styles of M DJs have tickets as well. Morant Bay, Texaco. Also, Universal Electrical and Plumbing Supplies, Wharf Road, Morant Bay, St. Thomas. For more information, call 518 2399. More ticket outlets coming soon. Business operators, local and overseas. This announcement is for you. Styles FM is an internationally known radio network with worldwide listeners in over 120 countries. From our studio in Port Antonio, Jamaica to the ears of the people in your community, our listeners can be your new customers. Styles FM is an economical, efficient, and effective advertising option for your business. No matter the size of your business, there's always growth potential. Styles FM provides the customer reach needed to realize that upward movement. So procrastinate no more. Advertising is a must. For more details on how to advertise with Styles FM, visit www.stylesfm.com or email info at stylesfm.com or call us on 876-518-2399. Styles FM, the world listens. Remember Styles FM on social media. View us on YouTube at Styles FM Radio. Follow us on Instagram at Styles FM. Like us on Twitter at Styles FM 961. Become a fan on Facebook, Styles FM 96.1. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back to Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude indeed. And we are looking at a very interesting Vox Pop tonight. And we're going to share. Rude? Where's Daddy Rude? Uh, did I say Daddy Rude? Yes. I'm sorry. Huh? Lady Cleo and Prestige. <laughs> <laughs> My tongue yeah. is so familiar with oh. saying that. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Prestige is my very able bodied co-host tonight oh. and we are gonna share the vox pop with you again in case you're just joining us all right truth or fable fact or fiction do you believe that the dead can communicate with the living through dreams or visions etc um would one need to inform or communicate their intentions to the spirit before erecting for example a tombstone have you or anyone you know ever experienced the wrath or anger of any spirit? Right? Share what happened. And Prestige, of course, was telling us how much it is that he has had the experience of having getting dreams from grandma and from a close friend. And how it is that his son 
also experienced seeing a little girl back in his day when he was younger in Flo was it Florida you said yeah yes the son experienced seeing a little girl many times in the yard up in the tree in the house Boy, well, I mean, you know, but would I really, really free? As a parent, would I really, really free it? Mm. Yeah, so free it, you you have gotten dreams. Mm. Have you part two to the Vox Pop? Uh, we're going to come back to part one in a bit, but I want to hear if Prestige, um, do you think people need to communicate with the dead after they have buried them, after they have gone? Do you think you need to still go back and talk to grandma or is, is that something that is real or is just what people believe? I don't know. It's what people believe. You know what I say? Mm. Because, yeah, because... What, what my other cousin, them were... Every year, and them go up and them mother grave and, you know, them sit down and them, you know... Communicate. Communicate with them and, you know, sit and drink too liquor and mm -hmm. I don't know where, where, where the rum the spirit have to do with you know which is the rum have to do with you know the spirit the spirit but you know you sit down and we burn to fire mm -hmm. and talk and you know laugh talk and to mommy and let's laugh and then I don't mean, know you know what I mean you do know, you think they get it, any you know? form of have you ever heard them say they get any form of um yeah. feeling where it's yeah. like she's there with them or communicating back to them through dreams or anything like it, that mm, they never explain that to me you okay. know what i mean but you know you know while they're sitting there you know that the feelings there you know mm. what i say you know it's there with like them. a oneness feeling like, like you know, yeah, she's still there because mm. you know they, 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 they is it a mental they, thing you they, think you have to be because the memory you know linger mm-hmm you know what I mean? I just, you, you, you keep You're in the corners, remembering, the of your you know mind what I mean? Somewhere yeah. lingering all and, the time. And, and, and mommy was this type of person, you know? And, you know? And them things, they just connect on a level. I mean, I know if she connect back to them. To them. On a level, but me know, you know what I mean? Listeners. They connect in their mind. Mind. You know? The mind is a powerful thing, isn't it? Very powerful. Very powerful. Listeners, we want yeah. to know if you believe, yeah. do you strongly believe, yeah. or have, a, have had an experience where you feel connected in any way, shape, or form to the dead? Mm. You know, you're, you're, you're close, you were close with fa as family members, whether it was your sister or your brother, whomever it was, you mm. know, a friend, you were so close to them, and even in death, you feel as if they are still there with you, like they are still guiding you or communicating with you. Have you ever had that experience? Please feel free to call mm -hmm. in and to share tonight. You know, you have that name, Lady Cleo, mm -hmm. like Miss Cleo, where eh -eh. you see the eh -eh. <laughs> Not that one. <laughs> what's up, what's up? I can't <laughs> read a soul. <laughs> I can't read, read no. Yeah, I, I yeah. always tell my Lady friends, people. I can't, don't say Miss Cleo. I work with Lady Cleo. <laughs> if you don't want to say Lady Cleo, you can use Cleo. Do not say Miss Cleo. May I beg you no. All right, do. <laughs> you know, by the people, they mistake no, you know, man. Eh, eh. <laughs> that's a bit topic. Calm me now for your free reading. I can't read yeah. that soul, my love. Because of the topic. All right, you know no, I can't say? read that soul. Can me say something a while ago, you know, but I think you're not going to read me up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell you. But, but <laughs> persons, I'm sure, would have said, would have um yeah. probably have said that they feel mm -hmm. like they're being guided by their relatives. Yes. Their, their family members, mm. the mommy, mm. whomever, it's like they're with them. Mm. You know, they feel that guidance and protection. Mm. And, and to each his own, if a person says they feel that way and, you know, they they, they, they have that reassurance or they, they are confident about that, who am I to say that is not true? Mm. So, you know, to each his own as it relates to how it is they communicate or if at all they communicate with the dead. Now, I, I, I had an experience some time ago which well experience meaning listen listen to somebody tell tell a tale and he actually was talking about going to the cemetery and he knew of a case where the person never go tell the person before and mm -hmm. say look man I'm gonna come put up the tombstone Mm. And it was one bangarang hell and powder house tormented when they go there and do the work. They're not going to do the work. They're not going to do the work. Yeah. I mean, I said, oh, you mean, 
Then say, boy, them uncomfortable, miserable, yeah. and the location is like the spirit. I fight them yeah. because they never inform. Yeah. The, the person, the quote unquote person yeah. Yeah. about it. So oh. I really want to know if there's anybody else out there who, mm. ha, who have had this kind of experience or they know first and of somebody who really had this experience. Uh, we have a message here. This and about Doppy, but many years ago, I went home early from work and my housemate had two girls on the base. Same ago one man. He said one after me. <laughs> so me bring her in my room and sat out and all me a try the boy now nah get up. Me find excuse and tell her a true me tired. I fell asleep with her still in my bed. And my dream sent me and I start up again. And the boy finally rise up. And as me about to put it in, my mommy start calling me. <laughs> and every time me try to put it in, she call after me. Me jump out of my sleep. You know, so me find out, say, my brethren did sat her out before me reach home. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Mommy, I want him. Yeah? And I never really can't fit you, but I dream. Yeah, man. Me walk over. Me walk over, open my grave already. Mm. And after that, me feel strange. <laughs> Uh, thank you for sharing, you well. <laughs> You were not supposed to go there. Plain and simple. You were not supposed to go there. Yeah? Simply put. So we do get these premonitions from time to time mm. and things that we're not supposed to do. Karen in Monique St. Anne says... My mother dreamed me the lot of number and I said it just a dream. And all the number them did play. What is wrong with Karen? <laughs> I, need a, I need a dream like that. And Karen get the entry away. Karen. Karen. Oh my goodness. Karen says, my grandmother dreamed me. Busy when I was dreamy. Busy when I was. And she carry me go pick it. Is that busy? As in, as in busy, I'm not sure. Mm. Carry me go pick it in the... I went and pick it. It was so good. Oh, Bush. My grandmother dreamed me. Bush. When I was... She missing out some words there, I think. She maybe was typing too fast. And, oh, so her grandmother gave her a dream and she followed but her mother dream had a lot of number and she no bite and the number them play oh my goodness girl you need a beating from the spirit <laughs> no sir we have a caller here on the 453 good night caller welcome to real talk good night lady Cleo. how are you i'm fine and to prestige Good night. I just want to share that thought with you. Yes. I, I experienced it with my second son that I had. Uh -huh. I was pregnant. And when I went to the doctor, they said the after birth was before the head started to bleed. Yes. So I had to stay in the hospital for the whole nine months. Couldn't do anything, just take bed. Yeah. Every, anything that I wanted to do, I had to just do it right there. And one night, I feel like I want a piece of ice. And I said, I'm going for the ice. And I get up and I'm going to go for the ice. Come up back, eat the ice. And after I finish eating the ice, there's a flow of blood come down. And I was there and called the nurse. And the nurse said, say, did I tell you not to leave your bed, Miss Wilson? Mm -hmm. And I said, I didn't leave it. And she slapped me and said, you leave your bed because you wouldn't be in like that. Well, in a way... She was calling the doctor because the doctor said when any time that's happening, she's supposed to call the doctor. Yes. And she couldn't get him. And it was about 4, 5 o'clock in the morning, I see my mother come. And my brother-in-law, that's my sister, 
the husband come yes talking to the nurse and at the same time the doctor come in and they explain and I see my mother just come and just wipe me down with something and put on a new night for me and that was a tea at the same time. You understand? And mm-hmm. after, you know, get over that, when I get home, she was explaining to me that my, bro- my um, brother-in-law get it from my grandmother. Cause she's a Catholic and my mother is a revivalist. You mm-hmm. understand? But she couldn't face my mother. But she had to go where to sit near to go and dream my brother-in-law to tell her to go and look about me because she... Somebody fling blow up on me, and that's why I'm um, bleeding like that. Oh. Yeah, and that's done. So it, it can happen. Mm-hmm. You, you, yeah. Your ancestors have come dream you, tell you anything that's happening to you. Yes. And even if you're sick, anything that's happened, they can dream you. It is true. Wow. Because I experienced it. Huh? And of course, he who feels it knows it, right? Yes. Thank you so much. Where are you calling from? Port Morant. Port Morant. All right. Big ups to you. And thanks so much for sharing the story. I'm sure people out there will share other stories similar to yours as well. Yeah. But you're okay now, though? Yes, I'm okay. Perfect. Thank God for that. Yes, Are you okay. coming to Fan Fusion? <laughs> Prestige. Mm. I'm going to be there. Which yeah. is right. <laughs> I'm going to be there. You don't have to say um, your name on here. You don't have to say um, your name. Um, Prestige. Yes. I wanted to tell you, I had a grandson, just like your grandson, who... Mm. <laughs> it was my son. <laughs> yes. I have a son name. Okay. And I born the same month that you born. I'm a Scorpio. Oh, me too, honey. Oh, yeah, I see. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. And and this is Teresa talking to you. Oh, that's your voice sounds so nice. Because all of us, see, <laughs> born that month, always have a very nice what voice. What date see? in November, Teresa? The 15th of November. The 15th? Yeah. Okay, and you're the? 23rd. And I'm the 6th. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so yeah. much for sharing, and we'll enjoy sweet November when it comes, all right? All right. Okay, then. Yeah. All right, darling. Keep Take it locked. Care, safe. Yeah. Very interesting. You know, I've heard persons do um, say before, for real, that mm. they, they, their family members, you know, man, tell them yeah. about sickness that is happening to them. Yeah. Yes, man, I hear people say that for true. Oh. So those who have the stories out there and you've experienced mm. stuff like this, please feel free to share with us. Mm. We have a text here from 399. The dead cannot talk. The dead cannot communicate. Once a person has died, their thoughts have erased from existence. Mm-hmm. Death can be compared to sleep. If someone dreams and sees a resemblance of someone who has passed away, mm-hmm. it is not the person. Mm-hmm. The devil can take the form of anyone. Mm-hmm. Again, once someone is dead, mm-hmm. they are stiff tone dead. Mm-hmm. Ecclesiastes 9, mm-hmm. 5 and 6, verse 5 and 6. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much for sharing your views right there. I'm not sure who that name is, but we'll get the name soon. All right, so that's another view of somebody else. Yeah, yeah. Um, Taz yeah. says, um, um, big up yourself, big up yourself too, bro. Good to hear from you. Auntie, did I get a dream of lot of number already? Auntie, as in my mommy? A yes. house, she didn't tell me about that lot of number there. You don't see you now. I wonder if she... Mommy, let's talk about that one tomorrow, okay? All right. You well, when my grandfather died, my big brother dreamed he was carrying the casket on his bicycle. During the funeral, the Paul bearers said casket was very heavy. And as they were about to put it in the earth, one of the handles broke off. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Oh my goodness Uh, gracious (laughs) All right, uh, you and other stories to share tonight. Keep them rolling in, my co host. Yeah. Make up yourself. (laughs) One day I'm gonna break up. Uh, win some uh, good night god daughter good night my love yeah. and prestige <laughs> yeah, i am night, scorpio to the fourth we oh, are yeah, loving so people i'm me yeah. tell you how we're loving loving to yeah. the fool <laughs> <laughs> we love all who no love way which i say because still yeah. so the lord can bless you and show them up 
Yeah, we're not going to turn it out now. Nah, Iris Scope. Yeah, yeah Iris Scope. <laughs> tell us. Tell us. That's not a whole other story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Kimoy. <laughs> Kimoy says, um, Big up Lady Clear and Prestige. I do believe the dead can communicate with the dead. Yeah. How are you saying? Yeah. So dead and the communicate are living and the dead too. Yeah. I believe there is life after death. The soul is still on the land, mm. on the land, and the body goes back to the dirt. Mm. Okay, another view there. Yeah. Well, very, very interesting well, views well, of our well, listeners. Well, it's sweet and powerful. <laughs> <laughs> sweet and powerful. Eh? Well, uh, Taz is telling me story about mummies. I uh, guess, I guess, it, I guess revealing mummies is a secret now. Yeah. The four she buy play plus the two she didn't buy deliverance. Mm. I don't remember that story there, Lionel. Mm. I don't remember it at all, at all, at all. I wonder if she didn't win or not. She didn't win the, from the four? Huh. I Lionel, what you say? I forgot you're a serious talk no, tomorrow. Nobody let down so much of them secret there. Uh, Miss Janet, and you keep cle- secret. And Lady the clear not get free, I look a cut. <laughs> Mind she begs with the family. <laughs> Uh, Lionel. Oh boy. So some people are saying the dead cannot yeah. communicate. Mm. Some are saying yeah. the dead can communicate. See it and strong. To each his own. See it and strong. We, we, we have a virgin, you know. Uh-huh. We have a virgin. I think I, 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 I talk this on the radio already. You know. We have a virgin say. You know, see it as we on this topic. Him say. Him have some friend, you know. He has some friend. And him. Mm-hmm. A hell in one go. I went tell me, you know. I went talking and they say, A hell in one go. Jesus. Everybody have them preference. You can't knock people. The man say, A hell in one go. Why one go this one? Listen to me. I may go tell you. Mm-hmm. A hell in one go. And when he got hell, he may go be the king down there. He may go be the boss. Oh, whoa. You know, see? He may go be like Satan second. Oh, whoa. Yeah. And him call all shots. So all of you friend them, I don't let them come van as 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 long as you friend them where in you know he not know where them. Mm-hmm. Where deceive him. He say as you see them come down, they never ask him where they, they come in the fact. He said no so he said my joke. Listen, he said my joke them with them fuck. <laughs> and when you joke them with them fuck, he just put them over the fire so and just turn them so <laughs> like when you turn pig. Yeah. And just roast them. He said that to not come down. <laughs> yeah, he said that to not come down for. Can you say they're wicked? Prestige. He said they're wicked. Prestige, do. And that he might do. Prestige. So, and then he said he won't go. He said everybody can't go like heaven. He said everybody can't go like heaven. Like like <laughs> and if he might be second to Satan, he's good. No, if they yeah. bad things make love. He might do it. All execution. No, to their <laughs> friend, they were wicked. Oh, my God. As in, come in and say, where you coming so far? <laughs> Juke them with the fuck. I just put them over this and just turn them like pig. Like that bonfire in my arm. Yeah, and tell him so. You don't feel how fire at? Yeah. No. That's, that, your friend is a mad soul. That's all I can tell you. We sit down, we sit down, we sit down, and we sit down, and we're in the entertainment studio, <laughs> and we are talking. Are you not know, for the entertainment studio? It's not. We turn this thing in, into, into our scope, you know, our listeners. Yeah. Lolly says she's on the 7th of November, which is the yeah. day after me. Yeah, we are so Lolly. <laughs> all right, so we're going to celebrate together, right, Lolly? Mm. All right. Um, so, <laughs> yeah. that friend of yours is something else. Yeah, we're still in an entertainment center. You know, we're still in an entertainment center. You know, in, the in college. In the drunk? Where we're still in the college. Instead of in the drunk? Entertainment center, we call it. What do you mean? Oh, that's with a really college. Chad Pierre. With their college. You know what? Yeah, and the man <laughs> sit down there. We're still in and we attack. Yeah. Rum talk indeed, Taz. Yeah. Rum talk yeah. indeed. We just go visit them. <laughs> I pass on there and then come and visit them. My thing is, yeah. When him, yeah, I thought was him gonna be second yeah. to whoever he, and take fuck and joke people. He say him gonna be, him gonna be, be sit and second. He want to lick with the rum back. Sit and sit down over there, so <laughs> and him dead there. And then come down. He say and I interview them. He, he say yo come over here, so he he, and you keep the fuck and just turn the fire, so you feel the fire at down there, so him with the fuck and put him by fire. <laughs> 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 say, Let's say. go back to the box, mom. Oh, yes, boy. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, we also gonna be Satan up strong though. If, if this young lady just now say a Satan, the devil, mm-hmm. right? Put someone in front of you in that way, yeah, right? He is and so this guy's them likes say, well, X, Y, that means uh, he, he's powerful. so powerful. Yeah? Mm. You get me? Wow, why the Lord couldn't put someone there? Mm-hmm. Why is it Satan mm-hmm. so powerful for put people in front as what she said? Eh? You get me? Uh-huh. 
Eh? <laughs> well, this one says, Lady Cleo, my son is six. <clears throat> Hope you not miserable like him. <laughs> miserable sometimes for very good reasons, though. And yeah. the son by November, your month. Yeah. Your time. Okay. Your date. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's the reason why she said that. Yeah, that's what she said. Yeah, I realize yeah. that. Mm -hmm. All right. Part two says, would one? <coughs> sorry. Would one need to inform or communicate intentions to the spirit before erecting any tombstones or digging up anything? Or can you share any such stories of persons who you know say, boy, me never do so and so, you know, and me go, go say me erect tombstone, mm. and me a go go repaint something, 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 you know, all these things, and something bad happened. Yeah. Well, Again, I have not had a personal experience. Yeah. But I remember the same encounter on the taxi, the mm, day, the mm. vehicle traveling the day. Mm. And <laughs> one of the stories the man gave that I found very, very crazy was that this man had bought a piece of land and had you now done his digging to you know do the excavation work and about lay his foundation mm. so while digging and digging and digging in buck up and grave mm -hmm. that's that's not, that's not impossible mm -hmm. people do yeah bury dig people and bury people at play right. property before right from way back then so he was there digging and buck up on these graves no, I don't know if me would have continued to build. I don't know. I don't know because what am I going to do with them casket? They know. Mm. <coughs> Sorry. So, anyway, the man said, late one night, he was out and was going in before the morning. And then a van that you see a pass him. The man said, boy, how van you pass up. on the road? But a van there going to answer when he look. And the man didn't see. And the back of one pick up something, vehicle. The one and the casket them. <coughs> Sorry. Like he's travel transporting the casket by night. Mm -hmm. Well, before the morning, because I don't know where I'm gonna put it. Um I guess to get rid of it, so to speak, because mm. you know want it in the property with my bill. Mm. And the man said, Boy, I ain't go about in business, you know, and him about about three o'clock. Go about in business, man, and <clears throat> and he said apparently you don't know when the other two move, but apparently he must have somebody say he moved the others in the same fashion. And the man said, "You see, the people them continued building and building and do them foundation and something and go up and ready for slab slab the top and mm -hmm. deck the top and what do they call it deck, yeah. right? And up there one day, one day, said they were there." Eating and you know drinking and chatting and one of the person them called him and said, "Boy, you can't come, you know, angry with me and something, something, something." So he said he went and he went went on the ladder and got up, but he never stayed. So he never feel like felt like staying, and he left. And the news came that the house, a mash down, started us a mash down. They didn't know what happened. They were on there and people just just slide off a house and. Dead and mm. mash up and the whole thing just came crumbling. Crumbling. So I said, "Oh, that for crumble just so." Because me did their talks, because I really want to hear this story. Mm. And he said, "Yeah." And there, of the view that the bodies, <coughs> maybe the foundation never strong enough. Well, me no know, you know. Mm. But the man said, yeah. "There, of the view that all them people here, yeah, all this accident occurred yeah. was just the craziest thing. It's like persons like yeah. who survived it, yeah. like felt." Like the house was like just a slide, you know, when you yeah. have slide pan something, yeah, just felt it just crumbling like they were slide off of the house top, mm. just crumble, just like everything just went flat to the ground. Boom, mm. the man seemed convinced, they were pretty much convinced that at the spirit, they're gonna dig up and care we're gone wherever they go put it or put them or whatever. They believe that that is what caused the house to crumble. Then what? Kind of provoke the spirit. Yeah, what about time? So who to, who is to say mm. that this is not what happened? Yeah. Who is to say this is what happened? But this is a tale that people tell. Yes. So you really have to wonder. Yeah. 
something goes so yeah. is it possible that the spirits were provoked they were angered yeah before you give me that thought let's quickly yeah. see what 489 is saying good night lady clear and prestige i have a daughter and her father is dead and she always telling me she always see him and him dead mother and she don't know her grandmother before she is dead and when she describes her everybody says that's how she did look when she was alive and i had a son that is dead and i still feel his presence sometimes thank you so much andrea for sharing wow wow so she still feels mm -hmm. her son's presence yeah. and the little girl she says her daughter she 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 she, she sees right go back to the castle she dreams him apparently or she still sees him yeah it says <clears throat> the little girl her daughter still sees her father, father yeah and grandmother and grandmother and she never so knew apparently grandmother before. they're appearing to her yeah. and she has never seen her before she yeah. she she died yeah and so she when, describe she describe, when she describes when she describes is the same person yeah yeah she, people people are saying that she's but, seeing so how are we to say that this is a girl is lying or that your son was lying yeah me there's cemetery mm -hmm. and grave a dig <coughs> man sprinkle rum rum mm -hmm. man a dig I am a digger. Mm. Boon, boon, boon. Oh my God! Yeah. I can't manage the part there. Man, take boon and us dash away and us. Oh my God! You must bone, be mummy. Where they know? Chew the pambon, chew the pambon, and they dig, see him, we are and they a dig seeing we and I go and dig. Uh. Man, a man, I say. Yo, my youth. I said, them people are dead long time, and I knew people are going to go bury him, man. Jesus, you see, you see, you see, you see, when he the next all that dig thought, again? All that thought, all that thought, it's oh. 9 30, people. And we got to hear this when we come back after the break. It's 9 30, the time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. It's 10 30, I'm yeah. sorry, 10 31 by this. And the time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. And Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. We soon come. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high quality white paper printing that is water resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266 The most anticipated party of the summer is back! Styles FM Fan Fusion Party Episode 6 Drunken Masquerade Saturday, July 13, 2019 at the Bayview Waterfront Property Oysters Bay, Port Antonio, Jamaica Come here Styles FM's finest DJs juggling retro hits from the 70s, 80s, 90s and early 2000s. Admission 700 pre-sold. 1,000 at the gate. VIP 3,500. Styles Evo 6,000. Party starts at 7 p.m. sharp. Listen to Styles FM for ticket outlets or call 876-518-2399. Fan Fusion Party. Drunken Masquerade. Dress tropically elegant. Fan Fusion is not just a party. It's an experience. Must be 18 years and older to enter. ID required. Drink responsibly. Planning a party, club night out, stage show, a gospel concert, or even a business sales event? Let Styles FM be a part of your promoting tool. Take advantage of our low price promotion packages with commercials, interviews, giveaways, reviews, and much more. We have special offers when you mix and match and bundle your options. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Styles FM for the most effective way to exploit your marketing dollar. Take us to work. Take us on the go. Take us wherever you go. Styles FM. Take Styles FM with you on the go. The number for USA 213-992-4360. That's 213-992-4360. And for the United Kingdom, 033-0010-3322. That's 33 
Don't miss the adrenaline rush with the musical ingenious digital tea. Saturdays, right here on Styles FM from 4 to 8 p.m. Remember the uprising artists and new music segment from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Also, mix journal hour from 6 to 7 p.m. And the party hour from 7 to 8. Come, Styles FM. Digital T. Our brain. Look, man. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back, guys. Oh, my goodness. Very, very interesting stuff. Yeah, makes you say, huh? Some people say, nah, nothing no go so. Some people will say, yeah, man, a true. All right, whichever one you take, keep it locked to styles. We have more goofy, goofy, interesting stuff for you, all right? on the show tonight just to let you know about fan fusion it's july 13 this year in case you're wondering what is fan fusion well it's the stars fm party this is the sixth episode and we fuse with the fans all right so all the stars fm djs personalities come on out the family rolls out and we fuse with our fans for fan fusion all right the episode six is dubbed Drunken Masquerade. Of course, it's a tropically elegant attire for this affair. The party of parties. It is retroactive style. It's for the big people, them. No look at tiki tiki, no children allowed. And I would say 18, but my daddy Rude tells us 21 and up. Yeah, mature people who understand what. Uh, retro music is really all about, all right? It's, of course, going to be at the Bayview Waterfront Property, Oysters Bay, Port Antonio, Jamaica. Mm-hmm. Pre-sold ticket, $700. At the gate, it's $1,000. Cheap, 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 cheap. Reasonable, 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 reasonable. VIP is $3,500. And the style Zebo will be $6,000, you know, you get to relax in fine style in the um, style Zebo. So some food and drink, you know, complimentary with that price as well. All right, so it promises to be a very, very ecstatic, interesting, fascinating, retroactive affair. It's going to be great. Right, all the peeps who I don't know, I would love to meet Unus and all the peoples who me know, I want to meet Unus again. So make sure you come on out to Fan Fusion, all right, and roll on out with me. Take some uh, pictures. <laughs> me is a picture, Mama. Yeah. Me is a picture, Peggy. Yeah. So when you say pose, Cassidy yeah. can tell you. Yeah. Cleo is going to pose. Yeah. Right, Cassidy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I love pictures and I would love to get some fo- some pics with the folks, with the fans of Styles, whether you're a fan of Real Talk or whichever show it is that you love on Styles. All the Styles family, we want you to roll on out of Fan Fusion. All right, July, July 13. It starts at 7 p.m. sharp. It's really an early party, guys. It's not one of those one o'clock something where you start and you roll in and you're at close one o'clock. If you want to change off afterwards, fine, but it starts seven o'clock. Be there on time, y'all. Okie dokie. There you have it. And make All sure right. this year, make sure this year you don't leave your smile home. Carry a smile with you. Yes, there, man. Yeah? Carry a smile. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. May I practice practice my smile already? Take your smile with you this year. Mm, this is one. Yeah. And make it permanent. That's one. Yeah. And that's another one. Click it. Yeah. Click yeah, it. yeah. Yeah. Just like that. Click it. Click <laughs> All right. So, guys, let's um, shout out to our friends on the Facebook Live. Claudia Williams. Ah. Missy Demon Go. 
Yes, Claudia. <laughs> Claudia, see the man go. <laughs> Lord, our listeners are the best. Pansy in Bronx, big ups to you. Tamika Burr, good night, my darling. Nana Barbie Richards says good night. Juanita Haynes Phillips, Prestige Kayan James, Nisha, is that Nisha Boo? N- uh, Nashi Boo, rather, Keith Brown, Kadian Edmund, big ups, Kadian. All right, locked in to the Facebook Live connection. Good to have you guys on board. Really loving it. All right, so Prestige, we were on the Vox Pop, and mm-hmm. let's go quickly back to the Vox Pop, Cassidy. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I want to hear the rest of Prestige's story. So we want to know if you believe that the dead can communicate with us who are living and vice versa in the form of dreams or visions. Yeah? Um would one need to inform or communicate their intentions to the spirit eh? go to the graveside and talk to them before you go and interfere with them by putting on tombstone and so on do you believe in that have you had that experience have you or anyone you know ever experienced the wrath or anger of any spirit now that's the part we really want to be looking at in the next few minutes now before we go to that let's hear the rest of cast um prestigious story yeah as i was saying before right mm-hmm. <laughs> that grave digging mm-hmm. my name i dig the grave mm-hmm. you know but before they started the grave they must sprinkle rum and you know bless up the places as with them say you know what i mean mm-hmm. yeah because they said the dead them all is one rum for drink one rum them yes things, them, so say. them just do them things so them i dig and when them reach down bone them Buck up and buck up in you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the virgin threw the bone over there the same way. And, uh, you know? So I throw a bone one side. Yeah, and uh throw dirt on the same way and I uh, do them things, you know. Uh, people are dead a long time man and the new people are going to say no go bury man and all them something, you know, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, can you see them people, you know what I mean? Yeah. And may I tell you, yes, when you lift up the picker again and do so. And right to foot. in foot. Jesus. Ooh. He go right to in foot. Cramp up. And we have to take him out. You know, see it? Hospital. Mm-hmm. Same time. You see the rest of man they were in there and one next one jumped down in there? Mm-hmm. Eh? He miserable have to come out. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Right, they have to cry for rum for throw down a bit of like grave. Mm-hmm. Wow. And you see? They are saying that the, the, that then the bone the old and, and tired long time and some telling them say me not walk to no cemetery at night like that you know me not doing it you know. Why? Me not doing have, it. Me, me leave because my body run cool. Then I must. That so the one, that, the, the one that went on there to finish the job. I know. At about three of them down in there. Uh uh-uh. uh. Two to three of them down in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because many times people, people digging grave when me give you understand say they come upon other bodies. Yeah. Who owns the rat not long time? Two to three of them down in there. I do with them I do. You get me? Because wow. one piece of like a stone thing, like mm-hmm. they you know, and them down in there try to yeah, get that out and then they there. And when the next brother jump down in there, miserably have to fly up back. Oh my god. Everybody have to come out and they have to ask rum. A room come one back of room. And screw that. up. And screw <laughs> up in a dance. But what does the rum do? Again. Calm me no them. No, me no, no, me no, no. Calm the spirit? No, no. Why, wow. why, wait, wait. Why people go to these people for read them up and then look away there? Like you mean the read them on them? Yeah. Why? I mean, you know, you know. And why they can't tell us that it's a spirit? What, 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 what? Why some people just caught up in them because not for who know. Excuse me. I want to no call up, you know, because I know so no not sleep, you know. Right? <laughs> and for you to take up on yourself and talk about you know, get a hobby man and all them kind of something there and all them things there. I want to dream about this. I want to dream about that and all them kind of things there. I want to call up, man. People, people, talk, about, people yeah. talk about reader, people yeah. too, you know, which, which is not necessarily where, where, the hobby man, you know. Yeah, where the hobby people man business. Because about mother. Yeah, and where the mother and business they, they and all them things there. They can tell them, say, boy, this person get? put something, put something yeah. in your food we want or to know. this person throw something wherever you know maybe them things are bigger than we do so we want to know so they can share 
Why don't you know about it? I don't know there. You know what I say? One of our listeners. Yes. One of our listeners. Share it with us. Definitely. We, we appreciate some people, that. As well, what I said before, you know, they're gifted. There are some people who are gifted. Yes. You know? yes. We can just tell you, say. Yeah, man. This some prayer warriors. Um, this this is happening to you. Or and, this and, is what and, is happening and, to you. Yeah, and, yeah. 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 For real. And it happens in a real life after they tell you. In a real life. Yeah. Yeah. I had some people get some dream and they dream real. Mm-hmm. And a joke. Real. So. Oh. Well, you will ask more for mm-hmm. us. Mm-hmm. He says, Lethal Cemetery have some old gravestone plaque where nobody can move. Mm. Make somebody tell you about them. <laughs> so, people in St. Thomas, those in Lethal, call in a man. Mm-hmm. Tell us about those <coughs> gravestones. Mm. When nobody can dear touch it. If them touch it, mm. what can happen? Mm. The stories we would love to hear right here on Real Talk. Mm. 876-453-1444 or 954-338-7973. Back in the days when, when, when we had grew up, mm-hmm. and them always I said to we say, you know, listen up. You know, say, you can walk through the cemetery and walk on the people they engrave. Mm-hmm. You get me? Because if you walk on the people they engrave, the people will lick you. Jesus. You see what I say? Oh. I know we find out that people are asleep and grave. Mm-mm. And nothing not happen to nobody. But top people here, and because and where they go one grave digging, I mean, I really love, love, love yeah. them. Something, that's something there, you know. I got one grave digging, you know. And me they have to walk on it. Sorry, here, people. Me they have to walk on some people's grave. Mm. If you go up to the top, because mm. up at the top, the, the thing that are going. Yeah. And go back at the funeral again, and I to walk. I try my best to walk through the little side side track them still. Yeah, but me have to walk on. Yeah, they have to walk on. The, the cemeteries are not kept good at all. I don't know. Awesome. I don't know. Yeah. It's like one dung leap. Why, 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 why it's like that? Me then those one of bury people. And 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 then uh then uh take care the and, and, and clean want up yeah. Pee and top. The, the, what happened? It, it, it can't look nice, man. It can't look nice. Now if it looks so, me feel say it can't look nice. Whoever is responsible to you know to 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 monitor the ground part of it and the people them who have them 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 loved ones of them bury, make it something look nice. Back what in the eight, nice back way, in the eighties, right? Just Even look. though back in the eighties they never used to like tomb people like them kind of way to see, but. When you go up the cemetery, uh-huh. clean. Yes, man, that, that part of one. You come like you could play a football up there. Clean. I mean, I understand now. You, you, you go up there and I mean, tell the amount of bush. If it's the bad people, eh? them, the, 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 the spirit, they're most miserable. They want, they want a nice, clean place for, 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 for resting now. Come on, man. <laughs> they need to straighten up a place, man. But I, I remember them, dancing on one, but you know, they were playing gospel music, you know? Yeah. I mean, I dance pan one. And when I talk about walking pan, pan grave, mm. I start to feel afraid and, it, and the story gone, the, the incident gone already, for mm. sure. You. Mm. So I wouldn't go through it in the night, though. I mean, I think mm. so. I mean, mm. I think I go through no cemetery in the Why? night. No, 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 no. The mind is a hell of a thing. Mm. And how I got those things say is that some. One rude spirit. Then look how much one spirit that's bad. But look how much man. And no one go rest. Look how much man. Wa- what what happened to them people who live up, a, up, up, up in a. Um, um, Cemetery lane? Yeah, up in a lane up in a And they might listen to Styles FM. And they might know, but some something to you know. Yeah. And can't yeah. share. <laughs> share. Share, 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 share. Call them up and tell them to call in and share because the stories. Now, bridging, you know. Uh-huh. Well, leave from in a town, you know, and I go, you know. Mm-hmm. Right, and then I want to walk all the way around to go through Chile Lane to come over back. Mm-hmm. You get me? Or then just cut out in the next lane beside Chile Lane, there, so we then come up back and mm-hmm. then look away there. And then them, them just walk through uh-huh. 12, 1 o'clock. Oh, then you should be spirit them. And I'm alone, just I go the through. The man is spirit and neighbor. The man neighbors. So then, then good. And go through. <laughs> <laughs> me not go through it. Me people sorry. like me, you know, who never go through that. Me not going through it. Come I am just this, not eh? going through. Mm-mm. I go the long way around in the night. Mm. My chance in a day, but me one not going in a day neither. Mm. Me alone not going in the day so easily. Mm. And worse in the night, I'll walk the long road. I'll pay the fee to go on the long road. Don't carry me to no cemetery in no night. Mm. My heart no good like that. What about the man? What about the man? Right? Um, uh, uh, Mispa, right? 
mm-hmm. rain a fall in night. And him a shelter and mispa. <laughs> and the security guard were working there. <laughs> go in and he put his hand in the fridge in there and make his hand cool and come back out and touch him and the next Jesus. minute. And the man run, run. When he went and he move, I come like a smoke and I need to shoot back up. That security one want a good lick. He too wicked. I will oh reach out to him. When he reach out to him, he will tell him, boy, I don't want to touch him over my spot. Carrie, I fall out of shelter. <laughs> like a smoke. So then give the poor man a heart attack. Eh? So then give the poor man a heart attack. The, the oh man said, so when you move off, come like a smoke. <laughs> I need to shoot my tab. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Jamaicans, man, I tell you. 499. 499 has a comment here. Man, no stop running to reach Porty, man. Good night to you all. Yes, ancestors' spirits do communicate. My grandma died, and about a year after, she said to me in a dream, she wet up. And I was wondering what it is. And I tell it to the older people. And they say they were going to check out the place. And when they did, a breakaway was at the side of the grave. I got the chills just now. And water running inside when it's raining. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Mm. Wow. Ouch. Ooh, that one gave me the chills and the goosebumps mm-hmm. just now. Mm-hmm. So you see, people have experiences. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How could she have known to tell all the folks, mm-hmm. uh, you know, that her grandmother said that? Yeah, and in them, fact, there was a, a break a breakaway for true. Yeah, when them go up there, it was a breakaway. When them mm-hmm. break, yeah. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Very, very interesting. We had a call earlier, folks, and well, Maureen Fuller. Yeah, from New Jersey, texting to say, I that one is true, I know about it. Wow, hmm. All right, thank you so much, Maureen. Um, we have a, a caller, one of our avid listeners, rather. Um, Andy and Andy shared his story earlier on with me. Mm-hmm. And he said, when he was younger, he had two but sisters. Andy, Andy said to you, said, Don't call his name. No, uh, he's, he's, he's name. okay with the name. Oh. He's okay with the name. <laughs> and that saying. two of his sisters had <laughs> yeah. passed away. Yeah. And he was always afraid, you know, in the house, and he was really afraid. And he said, I remember one Monday night, one came in and hold on to his hand. Mm. And I guess in his sleep. Mm. Held onto his hand, you know, and he jumped up, and he was just so afraid, seriously afraid that she ran out, ran out, ran out of the house. Mm. And he said the Sunday night following that, that it was Monday, like a week later, Sunday, Sunday night, the other sister appeared in the room and was playing with his feet. Mm. And when he shot out of his sleep, she. Oh, the, 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 like the, I think it was a lamp, he said. Locked the door and went out. Mm. And he said he has not been afraid since that. Mm. And he has never seen anything else like that since that time. So apparently, no, he's saying that the sisters were protecting him. And they've always been protecting him. So I guess when they came to hold his hand, in essence, they're saying, don't worry not, we're here. Mm. And playing with the feet was probably to give him some comfort that... You're not alone, you know. So that was his experience. So to, again, to each his own. Me not, me not, me not afraid them way they. You know me I say. You know them way them me not afraid. Me like, no, me sir. me was afraid. You know yeah. if it's a close close family. Yeah. But what I want is the, the, the great grandparents them because I knew, um, I had the privilege of meeting my great great grandmother yeah. and my great 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 a yeah. three mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. so i know my mommy i know my grandmother was still alive and my great grandmother died i'm a great great right yeah. great great i knew her too so the yeah. four generations of us i knew yeah oh yeah yeah man good like that mm. blessed like that so i would want those two even though me never used to go country much never spent much time with them because me did Little bit and you know, living in Kingston. So you know, three grandmother. Great 
Your grandmother, your great grandmother, your great great grandmother. Yeah. Three. Yeah. Wow. My daughter know her set too. My daughter would have known her. She yeah. has her mother. Yeah. She knows her grandmother. She knew she knew her great grandmother. She knows she's still yeah. alive, her yeah. great grandmother. And she knew her great great grandmother. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So oh, so I kinda do want those two. For like give me like a dream, you know, yeah. like yeah. The lotto or yeah. so. Yeah. One so you name. Can't look, you can't look here and just pick the number them for yourself. One name's a tiny. Where well, you can't look here and pick them for yourself. Miss Tiny. I oh, want Miss Tiny to give me or my yeah. Auntie June. Yeah. Up from Clooney. Yeah, they my year. Yeah. The my or the other one, um yeah. well, like my great grandmother they call her um Dudu. Yeah, Dudu I hear you. Yeah. She I hear you. So we can want them give me uh, I don't know, yeah. something. Yeah. Yeah man, so we can <laughs> Winsome said, those old time, those old time dead, them bury with their power. But these nowadays dead, freeze out. Winsome. <laughs> Winsome, <laughs> not easy. <laughs> Winsome, where you easy. come from, man? Yeah. Winsome, these nowadays dead, freeze out. Oh my goodness. People have their experiences, and we can't deny that they aren't. Anybody on the Facebook Live have any? They have any views on the issue? Any experiences? Um, please, we. I don't know why the people are sharing away tonight. They have the stories, you know. Mm. And they they're shying story. away yeah. from sharing yeah. the stories with us. Um, well, we, we're gonna be closing out of the Vox Pop in a few mm. just before. Um, right after the break, we're going to go into our letter for tonight. But just to say, go back to the Vox Pop a little bit. Um, I wish I had I wish I had personal experiences with some of these. And my, 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 my listener who got the number, the lot of number from mommy, I never buy it. Boy, I tell you, I don't know if she's going to dream you again, but prayer asks that she dream you again. I, you know, no, go talk to her now and <laughs> see if she is in your next dream. We are worried about people dream. Numbers. We are worried about people dream and, and numbers and them things. That, and it's not like saying, you know, the individual. You talk to Dodo, if you say if you can but get. But if you can't get him, you get me. Can't get If you do, do, get a one. good dream. Dodo already know me, um, right? That you can get a good dream. You never see me much. You know, see? It's a tiny, see me more tiny. often. Yes, Miss Tiny. Miss Tiny, talk to Miss so Tiny. Rest in peace. Talk to Miss Tiny right here and style yourself. Because Miss Tiny, I listen. And she will hear you. She will listen? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> talk to the dead. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> talk well, to the dead. Yeah, because we're going we to go up at the graveyard, up at the, up at the cemetery. We're going to sit down. I don't know. That, that, that was a yeah. home, home burial, you know, that's like family, home, family plot. A family plot. Yes. Oh. Kind of oh. situation. Okay. Um, you don't have any case though where the dead, the dead, you anger any spirit? Have you ever make any spirit angry? Are you hear of anybody saying, boy, the spirit? Well, it's the case with the man and the fuck. Yeah, yeah, begin. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, man, the yeah, spirit, you get yeah. mad for him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know the maybe, first. Maybe they didn't put enough rum in the, rum in the hole. Yeah. And then the first grave digging me go. I me see. Me go have grave digging. I win that thing. back. I me say my dig up there. So I'm, I tell you. It take a while before they finish dig. Mm-hmm. Problem. They come, they play soft and they come like in can't even pull up the fire. <laughs> oh my goodness. Dig it good. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I know joke. See us, man. Well, you know? to each his own as it relates to whether the dead mm. communicates with the living. Or whether the living can communicate with those who have gone on before. In visions and dreams, people will say they have gotten them. But people. you know, people, yeah, people, you know, talk all the time, you know. So they have their house, they back and they, 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 they can't even sleep in their house in oh, peace. I've heard people say that. Yeah, because you know, they're alone in the house. Then you do a home. Do a people are calling and do a name close. And talk and all you get me? Things, yeah. Tile it a flush. And none of them flush tile it. You know what I say? So, with a life, you know, how would that happen? <laughs> you see what I say? How <laughs> would happen? Well, I went into a supermarket once. I didn't know the house. I didn't know my house already, you know. Mm-hmm. I didn't know my house already. Lie down and I watch TV, you know. You get me what I say? And the door, me and the door, the door closed. I can't breathe, man. Breeze closed what? That door they can't close like that. 
Oh. And the, the door no 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 the panel where if it close just like that okay. so it breeze. Okay. And it close. Uh-huh. What you do? Me get up. I want me get up. I'm gonna look and say door close. Me say well okay. The person must want privacy. A war. <laughs> so I go back to go lie down and just go and watch TV. But I forget cock company, Mr. Me Mr. not worry about people. Me not worry about them. Can I stop them just lie down and watch my TV? Me not worry about them. TV. Caller on the 453. Hold that thought. Good night, caller. Welcome to Real Talk. Good night. Hi, how are you? Not bad. We are waiting for you a long time, you know. You know that. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm going to get a little experience. Mm -hmm. When I was small, around seven. Yes, sir. I go to the, the toilet and mm -hmm. walk up a spirit, sit on the toilet, smoking cigarette like a living person. <laughs> and I run and tell my mother. And she just press her hand over the door face and take them first time people are the and rub me up. Yes? Yes. And I buck up two firemen when they was alive. And when they was alive, they do fine, they rich star. They do what? Rip star, the, the, the star, the long star, two, one man of battle, one man of Oh, yes, yes. Mm. yes. Yeah. I go along with the gully, and I see the one on top, I can't see face, the one at bottom is back turned to me. Yes. And they're drawing the star right like them was alive. Yes. Like, two person alive. Yeah. And I run up and <laughs> tell, tell my mother, and my mother borrow each one of them name and say, I must go back down here and rub me up. So I have experience of spirit. Yes. One night again, I was at my window. Mm hmm I see a fat, sexy girl across <laughs> the road. <laughs> you know me, Romano? Yes. Round two o'clock, I feel boring. Rest my hand on the window. So I see the person, you stand up, you know. Mm hmm she, she died and turn around, but she and me, it was good friends. Yes. So she stand up across the road. Looking cross here, so me now in my room and resting on the window, looking from the right against the roadside. So I said to her, I said, Hi, honey. Mm -hmm. I said, We have been someone that is not available. I'm available. Yes. And the spirit coming. What? And she you know, was in the room, I just tried the door because I was right and recognized it. So now. And I clapped the machine from the front and I called out and I said, I don't know what I'm again. Then you call it over and over and come to you. You call her so nice and sweet and sexy and she come in. Are you going to have a machine? You come in and I'm going to So, from, 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 long road to all, because everybody are calling me, this is a dopey, this is a dopey. Yes. Tell me for one dopey girl. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. I don't know about it, but we are laughing you now. Oh, God. You know, see, Fatou Man, you are Fatou Man, man. you call Fatou Man. So, where did she, how far did she come to? Huh? How far did she come to when you when you call her? How far did she reach when you call her? Me get, I'm a fly, me do one. Take up my big machine and clap you. Everybody, we are copying like this, so copy us up. But, Jesus. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. A serious thing, man. No people who know about it, but we are laughing you now because I don't know about it. But look here. You got to be careful what you wish for. Huh? Man, you have to be careful what you wish for. That is because I believe I'm a living person, but when I recognize her, who know? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> because she, she did die in childbirth. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah, man. So when you saw the, the, the face, I realize that this is no living person. Yeah, that's a good experience. Because they fly me to them, if they walk me to them, and they come against me, I'm feel them. Wow. Have Anytime they ever hurt you in any way? No, and they come near you. Yes. Your head began to raise your body, began to grow. Yes, because I feel heavy. Spirit travel with that eat everybody. Oh. Now, anytime they pass you, your feel and make your head real big yes. and your body began to swell. Okay. Yeah, because I have them very certain cologne, perfume, you swell them. Oh, okay. Yes, I have experience of that. And then wear couscous? Huh? And then wear couscous? Yeah, man. Yeah. Oh, okay, sir. Oh, you buried okay. them now. Okay. All right. Thank you. Where are you calling from? Long Road. Long Road? Yeah. What's your name? 
My name is Edley Moore. All right, right Mr. Edley. Moore, Edley, pick yeah. up yourself. All right. All right, thanks for sharing those stories. All right. <laughs> Edley was just waiting mm. and listening and waiting before him share him stories them. Thank yeah. you very much, Edley. We appreciate you of it. All right. Thank you about the taxi, man. A call, another caller coming in on on the four five three. Hello, caller. Good night. Good night. Good night. Yes, Hello. Could we ask you to really call oh, us back, back the after the break, please? And the line is kind of bad. So could you call us back? Okay. Thank you, darling. The time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services. It's 11.05. And Real Talk is sponsored by Native Audio Stage and Lighting. We'll soon come. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high-quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 8 893-2266 Guess what? Styles FM has a new business number for you to call, text and now WhatsApp 518-2399 To advertise your business and events call, text or WhatsApp us on 518-2399 518-2399 don't forget, 518-2399. Extra, extra, read all about it. It's Fan Fusion tickets. Yes, pre-sold Fan Fusion tickets are now available at Styles FM Studio, 4 Barmuk Avenue, Port Antonio, White Case Pharmacy, West Street, Touch Pharmacy, West Street, Labe Sports Bar, Port Antonio. All Styles FM DJs have tickets as well. Morant Bay, Texaco. Also, Universal Electrical and Plumbing Supplies. Wharf Road, Morant Bay, St. Thomas. For more information, call 518-2399. More ticket outlets coming soon. Are you sick of living an average life and tired of just getting by? Do you want to take your life to the next level? Learn the secrets of the super successful. Listen to Power in a Half Hour with Coach Mark this and every Wednesday night on Styles FM from 9 to 10 p.m. Learn the habits of the super successful and how to make these habits work for you. Learn to turn your dreams and desires into reality. You can win in the game of life. Let Coach Mark show you how every Wednesday night on Styles FM from 9 to 10 p.m. Business operators, local and overseas, this announcement is for you. Styles FM is an internationally known radio network with worldwide listeners in over 120 countries. From our studio in Port Antonio, Jamaica, to the ears of the people in your community, our listeners can be your new customers. Styles FM is an economical, efficient, and effective advertising option for your business. No matter the size of your business, there's always growth for Potential. Styles FM provides the customer reach needed to realize that upward movement. So procrastinate no more. Advertising is a must. For more details on how to advertise with Styles FM, visit www.stylesfm.com or email info at stylesfm.com or call us on 876-518-2399. Styles FM, the world listens. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Welcome back to Real Talk. We're wrapping up on this Vox Pop about communicating with the spirits and the spirits communicating with us and all of that. Um, we had a caller online earlier. We invite her to call back. All right. We had to go to that break, which we had overseen, uh, oversight there. So we're inviting her to call back. She, I think this is her. Good night, caller. Welcome to Real Talk. Yeah, good night. Yes, and you're sounding much better now. Thank you. How are you? Hey, not bad, not bad. Do you have a story you want to share? Yes. Go right ahead, my love. 
I have my aunt that died. Yes. And she died. We went to her home to do away the things. Yes. Pack up for the things. And then we go there. She have a lot of raw material and new clothes and for like to the tag. Mm-hmm. Yes, and so we pack them and we come home. So we come and say, okay, we're going to sell some of the materials and some of the clothes. And a few nights, I dreamt her come on the veranda, and she was pointing her finger at me and said, I didn't give you them to sell. Mm-mm. So when we were starting out our things, we see no cocker in our home. So we said, oh, she have things, and we don't see no pot, no plate, no nothing at all. Mm-hmm. But by, by this, she moved to a new home, so she did pack up our things and at our friend, our friend home. Yes. And she said to me, you know, it's Margaret have my cocker them. Oh. And Margaret were there with us, were helping us to pack up the things. Mm-hmm. And then as that, the lady were there, was there with us. Mm-hmm. And she, in the dream, she said to me, say, Margaret, half the cock for them. <laughs> Just tell us, because we didn't go ask her anything, because she did have gone and we didn't want them. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, you know, the dead really can communicate. Communicate. With you. Wow. Yeah. And I don't want you know, I was pregnant. I went to the street one night when I came back. The lady in the building said to me, say, look underneath your bed. I hear your chimney from one piece of fighting under your bed. What? So I, go, so I light paper, go up on the bed, push the paper under the bed and look. I don't want to say anything. So that night, I, you know, use the chimney. The next morning, I don't know what, what I feel when I go to pass my urine. It's like the baby dropped down. What? Yeah, and every time I could pass me, you have to hold up the belly. And then when I had a baby, the baby was the farm. Wow. And then when I get to find out, because it was somebody's person I pregnant for. Yes. So they say that the person do that to me. The baby, the farm. Wow. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. And I had a son-in-law, his mother jumped him, tell him where to go on the beach. We he see some kilo of coke, and he wake up the morning, and he go there, and he find the kilo of coke them. Massa, <laughs> look here now, man. Yeah. Him to go no, on sir, the this is serious. <laughs> so his mom dreamt him? Yes, go at the beach behind the rocks, in such a place you will see how much kilo of coke. Oh, my goodness. Early in the morning, went there, and there was the kilo of coke. Oh, there. my goodness. So, yeah, they don't let people fool you. Things like that happen. That's what I'm saying. How could... Well, if they say it doesn't exist, that's because they haven't had the experience. But people yeah. who have had the experience, I cannot tell them that they don't... They never had it. They had it. Mm-hmm. They had it. They had it. Wow. They had it. Very interesting stories. Thank you so much for sharing. I appreciate You're well. it. You're, well. You're welcome. All right, my darling. All the best to you. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Um, the kill, the kill, the kill a story. The interesting still, <laughs> when I lie. <laughs> oh, so the dead looks out for the living, hey? No matter feel like you can go to your bed, you know, and go pray for dream, you know. It not going to happen, you know? No, me no. Oh. I've had, no get me wrong, you know, I've had dreams, but yeah. not them kind of dreams there. Yeah. And as I said, when I tell, like, my mommy, yeah. she seems to have an idea. She can yeah. interpret sometimes some of the dreams. She want to hear experience them. Because you we get everybody, the everybody them. share the experience tonight about dreams and dreams upon dreams. So sometimes dream you dream foolishness. It don't make no, they don't make no sense. And a dream, a dream. What I want me to have? Nightmare? Nightmare. <laughs> Nightmare. You're too late. Why? I mean, no. I don't have no sensible dreams. Nightmare, say, man. Mommy dream. You know, mommy. Um, yeah. Grandma dream me yeah. this. And me the dream say... You know, me not have that. We get real yeah, dreams several there. times. Real dreams. No, sir. Me not get several no dreams. I get dreams yeah. and I say, Mommy, I dreamt that I had on this very... I remember one time I dreamt, I dreamt, dreamt that I had some big panty. Mm. Like about three, four people could have one of the panty, them big. Mm. And one and the time I dreamt some old part eggs. Mm. One heap of eggs, some big abnormal looking egg. Mm. Happy a full full dream me have. No, man, but mommy dream. always says that there is a, a nightmare, meaning to man. them. Yeah. And nightmare. then she always says dream no walk straight. Me dream, me dream, me bird dream. <clears throat> when you Miguel. Miguel. I pass away. Right? And 
me and him a walk. And he said to me, say, at the time baby mother, we, 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 we are walk on the road, like downtown, Port mm-hmm. Antonio. We are walk. <coughs> me and him a walk. Oh, and he said to me, say, no say nothing to nobody, you know, say me and you walk, you know, because nobody can see me on the yellow. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Wow. And then baby mother come right which part we there and we attack. As I tell ma. And he must say, no say nothing to tell ma. Cause tell ma can't see me. Oh my goodness. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I'm me alone can touch him and feel him and nobody else. Wow. Anybody else can put their hands up against me like he got through. Like oh, no. it's just like a shadow did it. What? Yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean, I feel afraid. Like, say, when I wake up and I'm asleep. Mm-hmm. No. Wow. I mean, I feel afraid that way. Mm. No. You know see? Interesting. Interesting. I mean, and, and on a one time in dream, in dream, more than one time, with the same kind of dream. I dream, dream already, you know, when I dream, I'll three times the same kind of dream, you know? Yeah? Yeah. The same thing, three times. Wow. And two times. Oh, we can't get this the dream same there. Thing. I don't know, like me dream, I'm afraid. I'm not afraid. You know, because me and him did it, and we attack and him look away there. Mm-hmm. And, but it, it, it always be that they always say to me, say, nobody can see them but me. I mean, if you say nothing to nobody. Mm. And me and him walk and attack. Yeah. Just like my grandmother, when my grandmother dreamed me twice. Yeah. Wow. A man I sit down and attack. Like a man I used to sit down and attack in the sofa. A man I sit down and attack. Mm-hmm. And then look away there. Well, I want some friend who I have known from college, mm. high school. I don't know. Mm. Anywhere you know mm. me from. I just dream a man. I don't think you want any kind of dream because you're the type of person oh, where you, 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 you will get free. And, and, I'm going to say I'm sleeping. I'm not going to You're going to jump up out of your sleep. <laughs> just jump up like that. Because most people just jump up out of their sleep. Well, it's a tiny you and do send me the number then. Yeah. You know, see. You know? Oh, we have enough things to do with our money there. So just mm. send me the number then. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, guys. Oh, well. Cam, let's see what Cam says on the. Facebook Live. Good night, Lady Cleo. Looking mm. lovely as usual. Thank you so much. Mm. Um, well, prestige. Mm-hmm. Laugh out loud there. Mm. All right, Keith Brown and Jam Rock, Brad Shaw, Tajay, mm. Star Child, Powell locked in on the Facebook Live, and so many others. All right, um, we have any more text messages? Great, Marvin. All right, and uh, Winsome is typing there. Papa Jesus, me can't sleep tonight. <laughs> That's Marvin's comment. <laughs> oh my goodness, Lady Gracie, good night to you too, my love. Good to have you. Good night, Locked Grace. in tonight, um, and of course, big ups to all those who sent their messages in. Heart of Love, my beloved, too. Heart of Love, Prestige and Lady Cleo. Thank you so much. Is on a blissful high. Your intuition and in- intuitive and intuition is deep beyond the human imagination. Time is limited. Heart of Love. <laughs> okay. I, I, oh, this is our friend I, here. I can yeah. tell us. Talk the things them. Yeah, my father. Oh, you sir? It. I wonder if he has any yeah. experience on yeah. this on this topic tonight. I guess yeah. he would have shared. Heart of Love. But Heart of Love indeed. We're nothing but people, you know. Mm. So we wear our heart of love. Mm. Yes. And we're always on blissful highs. Yeah? Yeah, man. All right. Good to have you on board as well. Thank you. Don't ask for that. They're listening and you might not feel well. (laughs) Mama Winsome, I hear you. I hear you. Let's go back, Cassidy, quickly. Someone was typing earlier there. Um, Let's go to 430. Um, Open 430. I know he he was typing earlier. I'm not sure if he still sent anything out. Um, All right. All right, guys. So we're going to be closing... (coughs) Out of the Vox Pop for this evening. Thank you all. We have a caller. Hello, caller. Yes, Good cool. night. Welcome to Real Talk. Hey, Claire. Yes. Hi, Marvin. Yes, How are Marvin. you? Um, so I had two. I had two experiences. Um, the first one was when 
one of my cousin passed away uh-huh. and um, went to the funeral and everything. Yeah. But my dad was in the States and uh, she wanted to see, she really wanted to see my dad before she, she passed away. Mm-hmm. So it so happened to the club. So they said that she ended up passing away and her eyes was open because they were, she was waiting to see him. Uh-huh. Anyway, we went to the funeral and um, funeral over. And the same night, because it, it happened in Kingston, we went to Portland. And the same night, myself and I drank that. We all was sitting up on top of, like, up on top of a hill. Mm-hmm. And my dad and the family was down at the bottom. You know, and yamming and kind of stuff. So she come to me and she was like, oh, so, because my daddy's name is Teddy. She was like, so, we're Teddy there. And I was like, oh, I'm, I'm down this right now. And she said, oh, 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 I told me never see him. And I wake up after the dream and I told my grandma. Mm-hmm. And she was like, yeah, she probably did that because she really wanted to see him before she passed. But she didn't get a chance to. Mm-hmm. And uh, the other one, I was always fine. I was giving trouble. And... My grandmother used to, like, since I turned, like, 17, I think I was 17, my grandma sat me down and she talked to me and she said, you remember how you used to be bad and I was like, you trouble and fight and all that kind of stuff? And I said, yes. And she said, well, she had a brother that she wasn't close with. You know, and always fighting, always fighting, always fighting. Mm-hmm. But until the day he passed away, they always arguing and fighting and fighting. And... She said to me that I guess her brother came to her in a dream and said that being that he can come he can come to her, he's gonna use somebody else to get to her. Mm-hmm. And wow. Pretty much that what happened. He was pretty much using me to you know what I mean, get trouble and all this kind of stuff mm-hmm. to get back at her. I didn't believe it, that's what she said, but I didn't believe it. <laughs> And up until this day, I don't believe it, but I don't think I was bad. But she was telling me, well, you know what I mean? That's, that, that's what really happened. Mm-hmm. Now, I mean, I, I always hear people say that, like, different, different stuff. I mean, dream this one and dream that one. But that was pretty much what I dream. I mean, it really had it that to do Yeah. And I don't think I want it, because I don't know how to know <laughs> that. Seriously. <laughs> All right, I'm thank you. All right. Thank you so much, Marvin. We appreciate the last minute encounter with your story. Thank you so uh-huh. much. All right. Um, so our overseas friends there sharing, dropping in one or two um, experiences that they have had too. Some people might be afraid. Some people might be afraid and I want to share their stories so they're not bother. Yes. But if you're not sharing tonight, no problem. We can hear from you another night, all right? Afraid of what? The spirit. Uh, spirit, the spirit. <laughs> uh, I hope Lisa is still with us. I don't know if Lisa everyone gone ahead under our bed or what, mm. or under our, our comforter. Mm. Um, good to have you guys sharing your stories tonight with us. We appreciate it every single time. Every input you make to the show, we thank you for it, and we hope you keep doing it again and again every time we call on you. All right, so we close the Vox Pop for tonight, guys. And we go into our letter. Big up to Vivian in Atlanta texting in, saying hi to both of us. Thank you, Vivian. How do you do to you too? Frederick Thomas. Mm-hmm. Mr. Creative Prestige. Christine Sio. Is that how the name is pronounced? Yo, I hope I got that name right. Okay. We are going with creative. Big up yourself every time. Give me a link. Let's see what our letter is saying for tonight. Their real talk. My partner and I have been together going four years. We share what seems to be a good relationship. She is gainfully employed, and I managed to do good myself. I have four kids prior to our relationship. But the one concern is that we do not share any children 
biologically or any biological children in the union. So they have no children together as a couple. Mm -hmm. I really want to seal the deal and give her a baby. After all, she's a good woman and I want to secure her staying with me. Every time I bring up the issue, she smiles and changes the subject. I have tried to even impregnate her off guard, but something is just not connecting. What do I do? How do I resolve my problem? So, we look at it again because I'm wondering if there's anything that we missed, anything that is not said, <laughs> which could be said, mm. something which is not explicitly stated, but is implicitly there, yeah? My partner and I have been together, so this is a male speaking. About four years now, himself and this lady are together. Mm. They share what seems to be a good relationship. No, good is relative, right? Yes. So what is good to you might be right, but yeah. bad to somebody else. And we have to understand that because mm. sometimes you're in something for true. Mm. And the woman said, boy, the best mm. thing this. And the man, I said, yo, mm. is that woman ain't already at all? Because she, you know. she, she can't even wash the clothes properly. Mm. When the house clean, the house look like it never even clean for weeks. And she says she clean and wash the bathroom, the place mm. still bad. Yeah. You understand? So what's good to you can be really awful for somebody else. So he says we share what seems to be, and the operative word is seems, yeah, to be a good relationship. She's gainfully employed and I managed to do good myself. I'm interpreting that now to mean that she's in a job which paying better than he is, than what he's getting. Because she's gainfully employed and I manage to do good myself. So, you know, odd jobs here and there and, yes. you know, get the jobs here and there. The Maybe his thing is not so consistent either. He yeah. might not do good. He might do, do good, good himself. Oh, all right, yeah. sir. He might do good. Are you saying she's not doing any better? She's not doing better than him? No, she's, well, she say she's you know, gainfully, gainfully employed. employed. So chances are fair, job more secure than female. Right. Chances but, are. But the man are do good still. Are do good still. All yeah. right, sir. Yeah. Yeah, I got four kids <laughs> prior to our relationship. So before him and his girl get together, yeah, I have four children in my yeah. in my in pan their relationship. Well, she knew about the package before she start. Are you sure? And she get in with him. Are you sure? Day. She know about the package. All right. Yeah. And one concern in him have is mm. that boy, we not you together, you know. Mm. And he must say, boy, he want to give her a baby. Right. And one, two of the reasons he named for want, wanting to give her a baby yeah. is he because she's her. a good woman. And he want to lock her. And he want to lock her. Yeah, yes. like padlock. Yes. Pan, pan grill. Yeah, thin personal woman. Because he love her. Out of order. Never say so. That never, he never say so. He, he not have to say that. No love, no, no coming nowhere there. He not have to say that. Then if he want a baby with her, then he make a way there. And he just feel like say, he don't want her to go nowhere else. And he make a way there. I love woman. that. Eh. No, sir. You want to give her a baby? Uh -uh. And give me she a baby. She don't love him, so she don't want no baby for him. Every time I bring up the issue, she smiles and changes the subject. Yeah, that smile means something. I have tried something. to even impregnate her off guard. Yeah. She's smarter than him, he look like. Smile means something good. She's smarter than him because mm. him can't get her pregnant. Is it that she can't get pregnant to any at all? You don't know. Isn't that she upon birth control? Maybe too. She could be on the pills. Mm. Who knows? Mm. I have tried to impregnate her off guard. Mm. So I'm trying to go there. Mm. Shot no and connect. Yes, yeah, shut off. And shot no connect. And the shot still no connect. He says something just not connecting. Yeah. Could it be that she on the pills and the pills are block the uh, sperm from reaching the egg? All of that took her no chicken fight. <laughs> or could it be that she does a play her games mm. very, very wisely? Mm. Play our cards very well. But at the same time, my ask, what can do? Why? You know what? 
We're going yeah. to dissect it some more after the break. Yeah. It's 10 30, 11 30. The yeah. time is brought to us by VJ Printing Services yeah. and Native Audio Stage and Lighting is a sponsors of Real Talk. We soon come. Architects, draftsmen, and surveyors, get your drawings printed in high quality professional standards. We can satisfy your printing needs. Whether it is for presentation to your clients or for submitting building and subdivision application, make it VJ Printing Services. Whether drawing by hand, or with computer-aided softwares, we will plot your negatives and print the copies as you need. We do high-quality white paper printing that is water-resistant and never fades, unlike traditional blueprint. For more information, call VJ Printing at 893-2266. Jati the Reggae Ambassador. Join me this and every Saturday from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. Right here in Styles FM 96.1, 96.5, 96.7 for the Tony Lauren Show in style on style. We're gonna eat you off that G spot at 3 o'clock. We've got the collector's edition with Twin Spin. Inside Music Biz with Teddy Ledley. Enough, enough niceness. Right here in Styles FM. This and every Saturday from 1 p.m. until 5 p.m. You got it. Planning a party? Club night out, stage show, a gospel concert, or even a business sales event? Let Styles FM be a part of your promoting tool. Take advantage of our low price promotion packages with commercials, interviews, giveaways, reviews, and much more. We have special offers when you mix and match and bundle your options. Contact us at 876-286-9216 or 439-5160. Styles FM, for the most effective way to exploit your market. Marketing dollar. For complete auto repairs and services, come to Akon Auto Technology, located at 33 Bumble Crescent, Port Antonio, Jamaica. We offer specialist services in wheel alignment and wheel balancing, brake drum and disc rotary servicing, state-of-the-art ultrasonic cleaning and testing of your fuel injectors. We also stock an assorted range of auto service parts, tires and motorcraft batteries. If we don't have it, we will source it for you. Call us at 876-715-5205. Or email aconautotech16 at gmail.com. Acon Auto Technology, beyond the typical auto mechanic shop. The most anticipated party of the summer is back. Styles FM, Fan Fusion Party, Episode 6, Drunken Masquerade. Saturday, July 13, 2019, at the Bayview Waterfront Property, Oysters Bay, Port Antonio, Jamaica. Come here, Styles FM's finest DJs, juggling retro hits from the 70s, 80s, 90s, and early 2000s. Admission 700 pre sold, 1000 at the gate, VIP 3500. Styles Ebo 6000. Party starts at 7 p.m. Sharp. Listen to Styles FM for ticket outlets or call 876-518-2399. Fan Fusion Party, Drunken Masquerade. Dress tropically elegant. Fan Fusion is not just a party, it's an experience. Must be 18 years and older to enter. ID required. Drink responsibly. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, now offering stage, lighting, and trust systems for your small and medium-sized events. Whether it's a stage show, concert, drama play, wedding, street party, or club setting, you name it, we'll bring it to life. Call us at 871-5212 or 844-6531. Native Audio Stage and Lighting, a sponsor of In the Know of the Law with Sergeant Del Rose Green and also Real Talk with Lady Cleo and Daddy Rude. Oh boy, the off air is sometimes amazing, can I tell you? All right, guys, so we are back with more real talk for you. We go up until 12, yeah, another 25 minutes or so. So let's look at this letter, and we want to hear from you. So do share what your thoughts are on this letter, and let's see if we can come to some resolution. Yeah, may I, may I, may I look on it, I may I say. But the young lady not having the youth yet. The young lady not getting Apparently no not, no. Yeah. Oh. I don't get I don't get the impression that she has any babies. Yeah. And this man already have four. Four. So I may I say to myself. <laughs> yes. May I say to myself now, say. This young lady. Right? Is she smart? No, that's a smart thing. Mm. Yeah. You should know where she's getting her before. 
Um, yeah. Four years is a long enough for you to think for her to know what she's into. Yeah, before, she, but but did she know that this young man when she before she get in at that three four years? Did she know that this young man already have four get four Don't kids? Don't know. Don't know. What if what if along the way she discovered that she he discovered does? that? Can you can do with the, the young lady, the young man, you know, and uh, uh, know three years have... after you find out, or four years and a track along in the relationship, you find out say this man have. But it, it should have been a case where she should have known from early out though. Should have yeah, been. but but some time some man have some pitney and a pitney and live a fine, you know. True. And the man and not really having an integral day to day um, right. connection with the child yes. or interaction. They're not so, interact that way, right. You get me I say so. Mm-hmm. You know, it see, could be a case she, like that. And she may live in a different district from where you live. Yeah. See where I come from? Right. And all them things there. But at the same time, the man say want a youth with her. Well, if that's a variable to consider, I don't think I'd want to go there. Say? If I'm discovering about these kids after. Yeah. Or the fact he has four kids. And I don't know. What's his motive? The man says she's a good woman. But if me not ask for a baby, that. if me not ask for a baby, yeah. if I have not expressed that I need a child, yeah. or I'm ready for a baby, yeah. you coming to tell me that you're ready for a baby mm. after having four, yeah, yeah, and let us let us use it. She must know. Say let us four. use the context now where she knows about the four. Okay, you want to put it that way? Right. Let us imagine that she knows about the four. Yeah. She. He's coming to her wanting another one. Yeah. Maybe this one is looking at looking at how it is that he's managing with the four. Where's she getting at this relationship for? If she not decide to what? give this man no youth. You no know? Yeah. And this man comes saying one well, one more for make five. Because mm, five ain't limited. Five in one. Yeah. And as she in one. Could it be that and she why she there? Yeah. Could it be that why she's there? She's discovering things about him that she's not fond of. Mm-hmm. So while they, cause it could be a case, you know, where yeah. they're together courting for a shot a, a shot a piece of a part of that time yeah a two year year and odd you know yeah and this now the fourth year now them start they start a little bit so like two years or one and a half years since they've really gotten deeper yeah and close so, right and closer and I live there. Yeah. right what he says and he doesn't suggest that they live together either well it could be could be not could mm-hmm. be a visiting relationship mm-hmm. but the bottom line is <clears throat> he wants more a baby with her. Yeah. I don't know if I like the motive why I want the baby. That's my thing. You, you think they sit down and discuss that? I just he don't look so because you. he says I don't think he discussed it because he said every time he bring it up or he tried. Yes. But every time he brings up the issue, I want the child. She smiles Smile. and finds some other way if it grow on the subject. Oh. So that tells me that this one is not interested in having a baby with him. Oh yeah. yeah. What could she be? In it for them yeah, could it that be that her motive is different yeah. where could it be the sex that why she's still with him yeah could it be that whatever he might be doing yeah. in the relationship yeah. you know she's okay with that but you're not at the right thing yet i know you're not saying the right thing what's know? that could uh, it be that daddy. the man money you think so she unite could it be that his way his face is good in money where my make is good and it could be that his face is better. Yeah. The waist might not be so good either. The waist might not be so good, but maybe the face is working. <laughs> Let's see what the text says. The money could have worked too. Can you could have make more money than she too. <laughs> you may not have a steady job, but you might make more money than she. You get me, I say? Well, let's see what 430 says. Yeah. Heart of love, my beloved, too. Real talk. <clears throat> he is selfish. This young lady is wise. Mm. Is he maintaining four kids? Is four kids? That's a very good question. What he can do is just chillax. <laughs> Set his priorities. <laughs> his words. kids is life. Open an account for the baby he wants so bad. Then change his approach. Like, let's discuss bonding for family. Let's get married. Have discussions about her life and future. What is her desire? Stop being selfish, youth. Real talk. But then you're selfish with you. Mm. You only look and say, yo, 
that lady I want nice chick, you know. And I want good one man I want, you know. Maybe you know, find a fool where just call to everything where him say. I to love sound like a real counselor. Yeah. But I tell you. So maybe him find yeah. somebody who as him say fair. Yeah. She just comply and she just go with it. She not ask no question. But it seems like young lady smarter than him. Yeah. Because she so, not get herself to get caught. Get caught like in another in probably one other web just like the yeah. others. Yeah. If, if, an, if he's not even one mother him half for them, yeah, you know. Yeah. Him there try and I try and I try and she gonna protect herself. And protect him, herself know. seriously because and she has a why. I don't like how him a four. Yeah. Maybe they are maybe they are yeah. close behind age. Yeah. Maybe them want things them not help them with and can't manage. Yeah. So even though it might be in a good job and things seem to be going on fine but, for him, he cannot manage but with another the four. Thing, another thing again where we are trying to understand, I try to get to if she know about them four there. You get me I say? I think she might know. You think so? I think she might know because and maybe that's the reason why hard and maybe to, that's, to hide four kids. And maybe for that's the reason why she don't want to get caught. In other maybe, way, Beto? Yes. Maybe she's thinking that, yo, four different kids? Yeah. By four different, uh, probably all four different moms? Yeah. Her two different moms are three. Whatever mm. the case might be, yeah. she might be looking and saying, boy, these children with this man have, I don't think they're in the best care at all. Mm. So, and then not only that, to have so many. Mm. I'm going to get myself pregnant now, if I give him one more of it, mm. the whole, mm. everybody just come together now and if I probably are like, taking the other four. But four is a lot? It, yeah, yes, it's a lot. Eh? Yeah, man, quite a few that man. Four? Yes, man. Maybe she can consider say, but she got to turn mother now where she go. Not only have one child anymore to mother, but she got some stepchildren to, to yeah. help look after to when they visit and all these things. Oh, you say four is a lot? Yes, man, I will leave that man. So we I said twelve is how much? Is is what? Twelve. Twelve, 12 is plenty. Plenty. <laughs> uh, 12 is like when you multiply the fish and the loaves. Uh, yeah? To feed the multitude. Four is just a handful, man. Oh, my yeah. goodness. Four is not a lot. So, so maybe this lady yeah. is looking at all of that. Mm. And it could be too that she probably cannot get pregnant too. That's another view for, viewpoint, you know. Could it be that, could it be that but, she can't and she's not, she's not telling him that she can't? But who tell her the man have no more people left in him? <laughs> Chances are... Shoot out for you have one more. Yeah, out of that too. But it could be, yeah. it could very well be that she cannot impregnate, she cannot become pregnant. Mm-hmm. And maybe she hasn't told the man this. And maybe she hasn't. Maybe when, pre- she bring up, when they bring up the subject, she keeps evading it because she knows within herself that chances are she can't get pregnant. Yeah, maybe she'll protect herself too. I, I, even that too. You get me? Maybe she'll protect herself and she know I haven't mentioned that to him. You get me? I say, mm-hmm. you know, I say, you know, Tony. You know, um, I'm, a, I'm taking family planning, mm-hmm. you know, and it can't happen, you know, because, you know, I'm not really ready for them things right now. Mm-hmm. And being to the fact, you know, I really want the relationship to break up and I live there. She does smile and mm-hmm. give him that beautiful smile. And him just walk on and she just does <laughs> change the conversation. All together. And she just walk away and, you know, say, hold on just a minute. I got something to do. And just uh-huh. walk away. And then by the time she come at conversation, change everything done. Change. She different it, mood. I think she in it for the pleasures that she yeah. might be getting. Whether mm. it's financial or otherwise. Mm. She might be in it for something else. That could be it too. And we're, we're looking yeah. at all the possibilities now. Yeah. Um, it could be too that she, as I said, she can't get pregnant. Yeah. There's something wrong with the fertility. With the fertilization of the of the in in her womb, mm-hmm. and maybe some men don't want to know that a woman can't have any children. You know? And maybe again, to she now even want to get pregnant for him too, because for him, that's maybe a whole some men waste too. Yes. Where my, I, 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 maybe she's I analyzing with. him more to see how best she can work with this or mm. not work with it. Yeah. And what she's gonna do after? But if she gets a baby, no, baby's yeah. like a tie down. You know, situation. Yeah. And he knows that because he says he, she's a good woman. Yeah. I guess probably his good is relative. Um, I don't know what in what, what constitute his good, but I'm presuming that um she's somebody who seems caring and loving and mm. giving and kind and all these things. So, you know, he's she's a good woman, she'll call for him and look after him, that kind of thing. Mm. And at the same time, she's not talking about the subject. She's a good man and he wants to hold on for her. So maybe she knows that the reason why he wants to do this is just to get me trapped. Pregnant? 
Yes. No, but but supposing see some good qualities in yeah, her. Yeah, but she and is. And you know one time yeah. Yeah, she he might see and the good qualities. Well out, yeah, in one, but one, then she one might one learn that yeah. his motive is oh more yeah. keeper. She she won't be looking at the part where she's a good woman, you know. Yeah. She might have discovered and learned that this man mm-hmm. really just want me because in a fem eyes me pretty. Yeah. I'm a look good. I me act good. So mm. he just want to keep me, but he might use the baby now as a means of some women find, find mm. that as a deterrent, you know. Mm-hmm. Some women will be turned off by that. Yeah. And maybe she's one of them who's just turned off by the, the why he wants this baby. Maybe she has discovered why he says he wants the baby to hold her. No, the average woman me can think of would not even give him a, a time a day. If his motive is mm-hmm. that he wants to hold her because she's a good woman. So something all right with that. The woman, let's see that one. Let's pray she not a trance. Oh Lord, the transvestite. Hey, him good to have four different baby mother. That's what we're thinking too, Gracie. All right, so the lady is conscious and she's making wise decisions mm-hmm. about her life. Well, interesting. You need to do that at times. Um, let's see. Um, I am pres- I am prestige. I'm a wellness and lifestyle counselor. So he does counseling as well. Okay. Um, Ron in Calgary, Alberta. Let's see what Ron is saying. Hello, Ron. How are you? The woman no one no picnic. That's some woman <laughs> no one no picnic. That's why some women there with men we already have picnic. Okay. So it could be that she doesn't want any children, and he doesn't know that. Yeah. So he's continually trying. Well, she not have to explain them things to him. They have to sit down and communicate, you know. Can't you not sit down and communicate? But you see, it's gonna be a problem. That could that could that could deter him so much because my girl said, "Oh, so mm. she had put me down and yeah. you know that, that kind of thing, and she don't want to have nothing to do with me. So she had to do with me. She had some money she want, and mm. they might become violent. So it's just for her to." analyze if she's gonna stay in or if it is that she's gonna st- get out of it she have to decide we have the phone lines open it's eight seven six four five three one triple four or overseas nine five four three three eight seven nine seven three this one said i think she can't get pregnant and might and might have might end up with might the, end up other with the other four. <laughs> ah. Keep your head and your body, lady. Okay. So she might can't get pregnant, but of course she knows about the other four, and she might have to end up taking in the other four as her own. Mm. Wow. Tell her to keep her head on her keep body. Keep her head on her body is mm. what Mama Winsome is advising her to do all right thank you mama winsome let's see who else has a comment there cassidy all right eight seven six four five at three fourteen forty four it's program we call a real talk and nine five four three three eight mm. seven nine seven three let's go back to the letter a bit um mm. so this lady either wants a baby doesn't want a baby either doesn't want the baby with this particular man mm. but m- m- might accept it from somebody else yeah and in some cases you know sometimes you know these women it might not work out the relationship might not work out and by the time you're quaint at them that print out, print out with the next guy so because, fast so quick yeah. yeah and again too i want to tell you some of the time, you know, the, 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 in our relationship, out of the relationship, we never go on, you know. <laughs> you see what I say? Yes. Yeah. Maybe she's aware of that too. Yeah, and she don't really want, you know what I mean, as we said just now, you know, if you have a youth, for my man, but at the same time, she are pre tony with the relationship or she have on the outside. Mm-hmm. Another individual, you see what I say? That individual, you know, see, she are pre 
I would not love for you have a youth for. Mm-hmm. Because an individual not no have no youth, no at all. She preserve herself for him. Aye. Oh, why is she sticking around with this one? And Tony already got a four, get four. Mm. You see what I say? But there is something about Tony. Why she has stick around? Mm-hmm. You know what I see? There's something. You know? Yeah, some man still you know, with us intimidate some man on some level, you know. Mm-hmm. Where they can't even move an inch for going away, you know. <laughs> You know that? Yeah? Yeah. Men do yeah, that to women? Yeah, yeah, some men. More, more than men. women do to, doing it to men? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah men, men, you know, we, we do them things, you know what I mean? And treat now some women on some level. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, you know but, see? but most of the time now, when we don't want to leave all the women in the mountain, we stick around in the Korean, you know? Mm-hmm. You know, some of the time we have some good ways. You know, see, some of the time, <laughs> some of the time. And like same here to you, man. Some of the time we have some good ways. We three out of ten. We get two out of ten. You know, three out of ten. So, <laughs> you know, see, but at the same time, yeah, something about you know, some of the time are the good, good. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That yeah, is yeah. always what good, it is. Good, good. It is always time. about the good, good for you, man. Always some time. You know what I mean? You know? Oh, yeah. boy. You know, see it. And then they go away, you know. And, you know, have good ways some of the time. Some, some of the women, them have good ways, you know, like three out of ten. You know, see it, you know. And we can put it like seven out of ten. I'd say eight out of ten. Mm. Just lie. Mm-hmm. Lie, 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 lie. You get me, I say? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but at the same time. At the same time? <laughs> the good, good, the good, good. What would he need to do? Because him just need for us sit down and just as we her, art of love say, you know what I mean? Sit down, it's reason. that she listens and, right. and gives her, gives her feedback. Right, and reason with her upon a level, eh? mm-hmm. you know, see it, you know, and I ask her why is it that she, what is uh, happening? I, why is what is causing preventing yeah, her from getting yeah. pregnant? Or is yeah. it that his approach is wrong? You know, maybe not. Maybe Could not. she be expecting that he's gonna ma- propose to her first and all these things? Maybe you had a rushy thing too. Maybe. When in the need for yeah. rush it, yeah. Maybe. And she not up to it at that time. And then good I rush it, you know? Hmm. So what them need to do? They need to just sit down. What about getting a counselor? Well, we can call for art of love. Okay. You know see? You know? So oh, oh. Speak to yeah. a, a, a family pastor or so yeah. and let's. We'll tell you what pastor, man. May I pastor ask you, family, family, family pastor, pastor so they can't pay a big council of money. But I'll let the pastor go to take care of the woman. Oh, Jesus. This is a nice. <laughs> yeah. I want you, man. This family pastor. <laughs> He's casting there. What do you want, man? You want to pass your shot nowadays, you know? <laughs> Are they clear, man? Not all of them. Nowadays, you know? yes. I don't think all of them are. You know, see the type of vehicle that I'm passing your drive. You see, vehicle and me and I work hard, 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 <laughs> hard. You get me? And I collect with paycheck a month time. Bring, I can drive with him a pass here, drive. Bring her to a family eh? counselor. I talk about her, dear man. Or, yeah, and, and talk talk mm. with her. Yeah, they're my young lady nowadays. And Rosie though. is a young lady. I, again, you know, it, it, she can be a young lady, you know, right? And him, female age bracket, different, way oh, different from she different. too. Yeah, and, and she, she just, know what? Maybe yeah. she just wants a sugar daddy. You get me? Not, not, maybe she don't want a sugar daddy too. Well, you get me? I say? Because he mm-hmm. wouldn't be that sugar daddy. Because fee money should have the, would have the way up at top and he might drive this and he might drive that and all them <laughs> kind of things. You see me? I say, right? Uh-huh. So, we them go to the caller. pastor. Them, yeah. We have a caller on 45, well, 954. Good night, caller. That looks like Dan Dan. Hey, clear. Yeah. Yes, Dan's. The virgin, the man, we're right. It look, it look, it look like him, 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 him treat kids like a, like he's going to go and store shelf and I'll pick up. You want to pick up my shelf? Ah, yeah, that's where it go. Hey, he hey. want a baby just because a woman, a good woman, according to him. Uh, and he yeah. want a whole hour. You, you know, he not realize that these things are hit and miss. These things are? Hit and miss. Yeah. And she might be turned off by his approach and his reasoning. Yeah, yeah. So if it's just chill, I, I, I just, I, I just hope for the four man is really the same. Aye, hope the four he claims is really his. Yeah, mm. because he could, he, he could, have, he, he could have been the victim of a, um, 
somebody call he could be a victim of a paternal fraud. Oh Jesus. <laughs> so you say you must just go and chillax too and bail? Yeah man, just go and just go and, just go and enjoy the enjoy the meeting vibe. So so uh, does he just um have fun have fun with the lady still or just yeah, I mean, if, if nothing, if if there's, if there's nothing else to turn off or turn them off or anything of that sort, you know, just go and do your thing. And mm. probably it, it will come when the leads expect it. Real talk. You know, but then for, for a fellow who, have, who have already have four kids, he, you know, his his, his approach yeah. sounds pretty pretty immature. Yes. I'm and desperate. Why is he so desperate to have her in his life and to hold on to she? Yeah. What is is it that he's not he's not actively or allowed to be actively involved in other four kids' life? Oh, we don't know. You know? Hmm. Yeah. You know, that, that 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 could be the only reason why why he seems to be um acting or acting up. Like he wants another baby. Yeah, I no, mean, man, I just think that he no, no, expressing desperation. Yes, I think that he probably feels and consider that he is one of those macho type of man where just give a woman a baby and yeah, she just you know is there for him and supportive of him because oh, he's daddy, so he doesn't have to give mm. her much, but he's gonna always be there to rub you know the baby's head or something. I don't know. He just wants something for hold on pan for say boy him and my girl this. And he's yeah. considering using a baby to do that, which is crazy. Because yeah. people are whole man so again, like, so you like, know? So like you want to put people in a bandage. Not old woman either, right. Having a baby with her will not hold her. <clears throat> so if I look at that bandage have, kind of mentality for two. Me have a cousin, me have a cousin who who who, who will marry a trophy girl. Yes. And and he want to make sure that she never street or, or, or not like that. He make sure that she no work. She just stay home. Wow. Have babies, be a housewife and all that. Wow. So like, so like, uh, control but freak. Eventually, she left. Yeah. So you know, them things there, them, 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 them intended bandits thing that don't work out at the end. So. Real talk. Uh, Thank you, my darling. Thanks for sharing tonight. Mm. Appreciate it. Roan says, assuming he has kids with two or four different women, if kids never all them to him, why would he think it will all? Okay, if they, those kids never all them on Monday. Why does he think that this one will hold her? Sometimes they don't think, you know, Ron. Sometimes the men think with one head and it's a lower head. Right, Prestige? Amen. Silence means consent. So sometimes they don't stop to think that the other four never grip. Or he could have done nothing at that time to grip them. Why does he think that this one, this existing one, yeah, is going to... Stick and stay now because you get her pregnant. I don't know. I don't know. Twisted, twisted thoughts. Twisted mind that this brother has. I may mean, love this young lady, but in there play a game with the rest of them and get him for you them. Like yeah, and really maybe too. really love that one. That's another maybe viewpoint love that one too. too. Maybe really mm. loves this one mm. and really wants to mm. hold on to her. May I ask you before if four is a lot? Yeah, I think so. Eh? Yeah, man, four is a lot. So five uh, too much. Five hour leap. Worse if they're at they're at each other's level like yeah. a step. Yeah. Mm-mm. And one is just a start. Yeah. No, sir. <laughs> <laughs> so somebody She's did. just seen that her money yeah. going to get short for this child. Yeah. And going a lot when they be dependent on her. Yeah. You know? That and again, and as, as I said before. We don't know about the age bracket too. You get me? Because mm. this young lady, maybe, say for instance, 25, 30, you get me? Mm-hmm. And this man a 50 other. You see where I come from? Mm-hmm. And she decides, say, you know, 
she don't really want to have no youth with him. You know, see, but she does like him as an individual, mm-hmm. but not if you have no youth with him. I get no youth for him. Wow. You know? It can be that. Well, if, she, if it, it can is... be that she too is an older lady. Mm-hmm. Right? You know, see, and she decides she, she no want no youth none at all. Because she passed that age, you know, forget youth. Mm-hmm. She no want no more youth now. No more youth. Yeah, uh, she no want no youth. Because we don't know if she have any youth. Right. Because they never even mentioned He's going to have to find a way. But I just see man now. To win yeah. her. Yes. Find you know, a way we have, we have to win her. You know, because uh, to all the, 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 the letter uh, um, stated, it, 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 it kind of one way with us, I feel, uh, I look and go to and I pick yes. and some people that come. We, we have to dissect and look at all yeah. the views, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the views you know what of everybody. You know, see the perspective really. that we can look at it from. And she could have just look at it and say she don't want to have no more no pitney for no man. We have four pitney already. Yeah. But she and him can go and But talk. she can still have go and have a, a yeah. good relationship all with them him. But things, yeah. yeah. Real talk. For real. Well. You know. Somewhere mm. is a snow done done. Mm. Somewhere it oh somewhere it has snow. Mm. Dan and Lady Cleo agree. Can I tell Lady Gracie that mm. hardly ever happens, right? Mm. Let's hope we get some <laughs> rain in Jamaica because yeah. the reservoirs are low and um, drought is upon us. Yeah. yeah, the times are really, really extremely hot. One of the artists I've ever experienced it. So, mm. yep, yeah, we're gonna have some rain because Dan and I agree. All right, guys. Well, thank you all so very much. Mm-hmm. All our Facebook friends and family locked in right throughout the show. Big up yourself, Frederick, Thomas, and the whole Massive One crew on FB. Big ups to you. It's now 12 o'clock, and we have come to the end of another real talk. Can I tell you, um, I do hope and trust that everybody enjoy the show tonight as much as we enjoyed having you mm. with us as much as we enjoyed your text messages and your calls that related to this topic as well as the vox pop kudos to you all and on behalf of my engineer dj cassidy this is your girl